Sorry for the BS. Uh, I'm not used to having to deal. There we go, I think. Wait, why is it? It's not quite. Uh, I think I gotta refresh it. Hold on. Uh, refresh cache of current page. There you go. Wait, now it's huge. Um, that should be, okay. Streaming is a delicate art, you see. You gotta, you gotta fuck around with it. All right. Hey, Soma Sam. You, you people and your different names for different platforms and such. This is me right now, by the way. This is, y'all asked for, y'all wanted face cam. This is me. I'm, I'm the one with the, the, the kawaii little flower in her hair. Why is life so suck? Explain that, scientists. Explain that. Anyway. If I adjust this, oh god, it will. Uh-oh. Okay. I have to- for, for some reason, I used to be able to capture Nox properly. That's the emulator I'm using to- Oh, hey, Sir Kofa's out in this! I'm, I'm talking here, buddy. Um, is Sir Kof a limited construction thing? Well, let me... Sir Kof is the, um... Is the submarine with the big... Submarines. Um... Of course, if you just search the name of it, it's gonna return the actual thing, not the video game thing. Um, here we go. I guess you can look at this while I'm looking up the info here. That on there. This is Sir Kuf. This is what? Oh, I need to get these images here. There you go. Um, how do we get... Limited construction, okay. And she's super rare, so... Oh wait, no, she's um, regular rare, or elite. Why does this game have- this game has the weirdest rarities of all time. Hello, Parker. Yes. Yeah, there's at least three Waifu Ships games now. There's Ken Kole, which was the original one, as far as I'm aware. Um, there's this one, which is the Chinese one. Surprisingly, the Chinese knockoff turned out to be significantly higher quality than the, um, original one. Um... The original... Ken Kole is a browser game, oddly, and it has permadeath. Gashapon and permadeath is, like, one of the worst two possible combinations of things for a video game, anyway. That's right, Parker. There's also Warship Girls now, apparently. Wait. I didn't download the audio update, so why do I have... Kuzi Watts its voice here. This is I don't usually play on my emulator anymore. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff. I accidentally did a um I accidentally used cubes. Um, these cubes, yes. I accidentally used cubes for a research project for a cognition one today. I thought it was just one of the ones that needed money. Um, but I actually got like ten blueprints from it, actually. I used five cubes. So I probably won't still be doing that too much, but it wasn't uh it wasn't too bad considering that. I just send whoever on whatever. This is about seven? Really? Wow. That's I thought you meant seven new ships. I was like, that's that's a good amount, but then I realized you meant there's seven ship girl games, I think. Can't do is the one that made it super popular, Azure Lane. Uh it was one of these cognition ones. It was the small project, but golden, and he used cubes for it. Gotta go to Bendigo, get me green cube! Uh, I usually go for the basic research because it's cheap. I can submit a little money. I'm gonna get Neptune. Probably tonight. De definitely tonight. There's only like 4% left. So we're gonna play until we get Neptune, come hell or high water. Also, I tried a, um... 
I tried a hurricane today, the drink. They got- Bacardi has these pre-mixed things. I know, it's a little trashy, but you know what? I'm lazy. These drinks have a lot of frickin' ingredients. I draw my- I, I draw my limit at like four ingredients, unless they're all like non-perishable. A zombie has eight ingredients, three or four of which are perishable, so... No, I'm, I'm not- I'm not fussing with that. Uh, can I get any of you out of here? I usually just level up everybody to 70. No, how do I get out of this menu? No, get... Leave, okay. Uh... Not yet. Glorious took forever. I had to do all 60 things to get... Kuzi uh, to get Glorious. This... this one. Sit on the chair. Sit for my amusement! I got Columbia, surprise- <laughs> Big mood. Um, I got Columbia surprisingly easily. I, I got her without even trying. Everyone else that is a level 8 and above, or stage 8 and above drop, I have not gotten, like, ever. But, um, and I've I've- I've- I've grinded, um, 8-1 and 8-2, like, 30 plus times. Like, each. I've never gotten... I've never gotten the thinger. I've never gotten the ramen ram clones. So, let me, let me show you the event, I guess, would be relevant. So, there's this thing, there's this lady, you gotta build stuff and you get coins. It's a lot like the Bismarck one, basically. Or all of the big events in this game, really. So you can exchange for stuff, you get... Le Triomphant over here. Le Fantastique class destroyer. Le Mans. Then you get what I can only assume were French weapons and stuff here. I like when they have unique weapons in the thingy. As an American, it speaks to me. Um, yeah, that's your big get. It's another frickin' destroyer that I'll never use, but. Whatever. Maybe she's got a good skill, I don't know. I'm glad we got Southampton, by the way. Southampton is cute and is not a Japanese destroyer. Which, all of the- Every single month I've gotten a Japanese destroyer until this one. Long before internet browser waifus get their own game. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, Internet Explorer, uh, what was her name? Was she just IE Chan, probably? But she had, um... Yeah, like a little anime opening style, like magical girl thing. She had to beat up the viruses or something. And we get like different pieces, and there's this one thing for Javelin for some reason. She's just kind of there. It does not really look, especially in black and white, it doesn't really look a lot like Javelin, but I'll, I'll, I'll trust them. Man, there's a mobile Planet Girls game thing, isn't there? This lady needs to eat a sandwich, I'm sorry. Look at that. You shouldn't be able to see those. Not the underboob, that's fine, but these. Come on. By the way, World War II fact that probably everyone knew, but there's two halves of the French army, basically. That's what kind of this event is about. Um, there's the ones that surrendered and got taken over by uh, Nazi Germany, and then there's um, the Free French Army, or I think it's something like that. Um, Iris Libre, obviously, is the, the good guys, the Free French Army, and then... I don't remember what they're called, so let me look what they're called. This is the Bad Frenchies. Let me see what the Bad Frenchies are called. I don't have any Bad Frenchies yet. Um, they have their own fleet in entry. Curia, that's what they're called. They're the Bad Duders. But there's a- there's an idle mobile game that's based on Planet Girls, actually. I don't think it's what you're talking about, either. So there's at least two Planet Girls. I guess it's a fairly obvious thing to make girls out of. Oh, dramatic! I keep forgetting this game has frickin' music! I never play mobile games with music on. Also, this is what France looks like. Also, checkmate Flat Earthers! Flat Earthers BTFO! Look at that. Yeah, 
anyway. Non, c'est un clair bien. I have no idea how to pronounce French. You just get a real throaty thing in there, and you say lots of vowels really loud. That's how you speak French. And some R's. You gotta have some R's in there. That's how you speak French. Now you know. This is really frickin'... This is really dramatic. Is this loud? Is this loud on your end? It looks a little loud. Let me turn it down slightly. This hard mode is really easy, though. I've just been plowing through it with uh, just these five girls here. I could probably remove Unicorn. I'd probably be fine. But I kind of want to get experience anyway. This is... At least on my end, this is pretty loud. I'm turning it down on my end. <laughs> Alpha France is so, like, romanticized. And then when there's, like, they do stuff for, like, Bismarck, Germany is, like, <laughs> shitty rock spires <laughs> and, like, lumps of coal, basically. But France, France is nice, and it's not just because they're bad guys either, like, uh, the frickin' Japanese Navy. <laughs> Which, if anything, especially Navy-wise, was probably worse than the Nazis. They get fancy Sakura trees and, like, Shinto gates and shit. Which, I mean, Japanese, what else are you gonna do? But... Everyone gets super romantic. Like, look at this! They get little pools and waterfalls. And then Germany is just pointed rocks. Pointed sticks. See that we're posting Sun Chan in the in the Discord. I don't like this hurricane as much as um, I got the two Bacardi drinks that were blue. I'm a slut for blue drinks. I'm sorry, but um, the zombie is like the zombie's really good. It's got kind of a tropical fruity juice taste to it, probably because it's you know, half tropical fruity juices. Um, I don't even- I don't even know what's in Hurricane, I just got it because it was blue. It's not bad, but it has a little, like, a slightly gritty aftertaste to it. I actually already have French- I already have a well-leveled French girl, if they ever make- If they ever give the Frenchies a, um... Um, a who's he wants it? A fleet tech thing, I already got, um... What's her name? The big girl with the stuff. Um, St. Louis. Yeah, that's the one. By the way, U556 is like the best submarine. She has ridiculous range and you there's an item to increase her range even. So I use her all the time. I don't have a full German submarine fleet, though, to make full advantage of her one skill, but she's still really good, just be just, just the range alone, because, like, half the time you never get to use your submarines, because they're just not... That looks really loud. Is that loud? I'm gonna turn that down. You gotta be able to hear me over the anime screaming. That might be a little too quiet. Just, just let me know how the audio sounds. I still can't believe I've never found a way to get OBS back to the old behavior. Monarch taking some damage, what happened there? Usually she's fine. Oh well, I have a whole second fleet, which I probably won't even need to use. The French, the, the French, the French fleet is very, the, the French freet. Uh, is very religious in this game. Was that the case with their, like, military and crap? I don't... Oh, you... Oh, whatever, I'll beat you up. Um... It's obviously not an atheist country by any means, but... Aside from Notre Dame, I never really super... attributed, um, like, associated them with religious crap. Not even as much as the Brits. The Brits are pretty in on that crap. Yeah, France. Music is zero chill. Speaking of music, I got back into... I've been listening to lots of uh, Scooter lately because of uh, Muse Dash. Oh, speaking of Muse Dash, last night I streamed um, and my Surface was dead. Um, I fixed it. If you have a Surface, uh, a Surface Pro, and you have any problem, 
um, reboot it in debug mode. You don't even have to do anything other than put it in debug mode. Debug mode fixes so many problems, it's ridiculous. I think my touch screen is still broken. Like, the touch aspect of my screen is still broken. But, um, I'm gonna get... I'm planning to get a Surface 7. Whenever, whenever we get USB-C is when I wanted to get one. And for some reason, the Surface Pro 6 doesn't have one yet. And I got a, I got a USB-C on my work PC, and it's really nice. It, it does full rapid charging and everything. It's very convenient. Roman Catholics. Huguenots. Huh. You gotta love how many religious wars are between, like, nearly identical factions of the same fucking thing. Like, even... <laughs> <laughs> even this, even the current like largest amounts of racism and religious bigotry are between the three Abrahamic religions. It's like, it's the same God, idiots. What's wrong with you? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Stop it. Get some help. Uh, I guess let's just let's just do this. I have no reason to get three stars. I always get three stars on the easy mode because it costs so much less oil and there's it costs less clears. Pro tip. Plus, easy mode gets you three times, gets you the three times bonus. You get three times as much uh, exchange coins once per day. So I don't get people that only clear the hard mode. Like it doesn't make you hardcore because the hard, <laughs> the hard mode is still pretty easy on most events. Um, it's just more practical to clear the easy mode because you can do it with like two ships and use so much less oil. I see y'all lurkers, how you doing today? I'm very ready for next week. I'm taking off next week because, partly because I forgot to take vacation, most of my vacation this year, so I have to take it before the end of the, you know, my anniversary day. But, um, it's just a good time to take a break. We got all moved into the new office. The new office is, gr is great, actually. We've had some minor issues. It's just reflexing. I guess, but... Most people won't even know it. I just see people talking about it on Twitter. It's like, oh, I only cleared... Why did I only clear the hard mode? I should have cleared easy mode. The very last note of hard mode was, like, almost slightly difficult-ish last event. But what was funny is the EX difficulty last event wasn't ridiculously overpowered, and I actually really enjoyed that, because I could actually play it. I guess the Kaz I Kazuna one was almost like that. It was a little bit crazier than the Bismarck one, but like, the EX difficulty thing in the Neptunia event was fucking impossible. Like, Greenheart spawned, she did one airstrike, and my entire fleet was gone. And I was doing really well up until that point, like, I was dodging everything. But then, there was an airstrike, and just everything was gone. <laughs> That was ridiculously overpowered. I'm sorry if the sound of tinkling ice offends you, but there'll be some of that. Uh, all right. So, who all who all can we even get in here? I only got one. I got Forbin. Sirkuf. Okay, good good rate for her. Dunkirk. I think we met her in the story. Well, I met her in the story. Yombat! And for, I don't know why Massachusetts is here, but she's hot as hell and awesome, so I have to get her. Um, Yombat. Ah, whatever. Let's just do ten. I've, I've told this so many times. This don't show again is a lie. It's, it's all filthy lies. It's all propaganda. It's all fake. Don't believe a word of it. Yes, cube. Oh, hey! There she is! <laughs> Does she actually get cruiser guns, by the way? The joke is, of course... Stop being anime. Um, the joke, of course... God damn, that is a mile of ass. Um, the joke is, of course... The submarines and destroyers are the smaller boats, so they tend to be lowlies and stuff. 
Though not always. Um, you're a destroyer, right? Yeah, you are. They kind of feel free to break that tradition. Whereas the battleships are like adults. Massachusetts there because shot down Jean Bart. Ah, uh, all right. Hello, Kangusa. That's actually good though. I I need to max out Kangusa. No super rares for me. Ooh. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> what? God damn. I already have you max. Go away. I wasted Bulins on you. Oh whatever. I have three hundred fucking cubes. Wait. Oh, I don't have any coins. Ah oh, shit. I've been spending coins on the stupid research thing. I didn't think I'd need them. Give me Massachusetts, please. No more county class! Ah, uh, Man! I've not had good luck this event so far. I got three Bismarcks last event. Or was it four? It was at least three Bismarcks. I got three Bismarcks before I got a single, um... Who was I missing? I got 556. Five, she was my favorite of the last event. It was, um, it was the Destroyer that I'm never gonna use. 35, I think? Freaking Germans and their numbers. That's such a German problem to have. I like 556 five, a lot, though. I see that Bismarck has not changed the meta at all, though. Let's change to Surkoof. <sighs> Frickin' Hood. Hood is good, but I've already got... ...several of her. I'd probably use some of these Bulins. Can't get worse luck than me. How many pulses did it take for you to get, um... <laughs> there's, there's this dot on my screen right near her nose. There we go. Um... Uh... Whoa. Oh, you have a thinger. Um, <laughs> how many pulls did it take you to get Bismarck? Hood and Jean Bart have the same construction time. Oh, that's annoying. I always use the uh, quick thingers anyway. Letting out a powerful sneeze. <laughs> this is the, the, the writing is so romantic in this game. I think a green foxtail. Oh, like a tickler thingy, not like an actual foxtail, because that would be weird. Over 250! Oh my god! I don't remember how many I did, but it definitely wasn't quite that many. I was gonna try to get, like, at least one of the orange girls, except <laughs> I didn't realize I was that low on money. I guess the heavy build, I, I don't like how... I'm not even reading this. You can read it if you want. Um, the story, the writing in this game is not really my thing. Um, I'm not really a fan of how the limited builds and heavy builds and stuff cost so much more. Especially the gold. They cost over double the amount of gold. The morning routine is the most important routine of the day. As you know, the R in routine. I'm in such a strong bad mood, and I don't want to finish the strong bad games until AGDQ is over. So we will get to strong bad, but I guess it'll be like next week. Though it's board game night next week. This girl has a lot of gall falling asleep on someone else's bed and sleep talking like this. Um, so goof at sunrise. No, you can't have my torpedoes. Um, what, Parker? What do you want? You're fine. What do you want? He's been a noisy boy today. Oh, whatever. Um... Oh, right, I can get money from the event thing! Oh, shit, I forgot. I forgot about that. It's been a while since we had an event. Um, how much money? Ah, just give me the money. Need months for college. Pirate ship, kind of nice, just to use a shooting gun at the start of battle. Oh, huh. Assume that's Jean Bart. She seems slightly piratey. I can do what, like five now? Oops. Oh. Seven, okay. Just one of the orange ones. 
The best way, of course, is to do three builds until the last day and, like, build- Oh, hey! <laughs> she looks kind of like that, uh... I'll let her talk. So the original game is in Chinese, and they don't have... Um, their localization does not, like, have the technology to, um, you know, keep words together on the end of lines. And a lot of stuff gets cut off. Almost all of the item descriptions and, um, story descriptions get cut off in the new UI, and that kind of sucks. Yes, I'll lock it. Yes, Kent. Yes, London. Yes, Northampton. <laughs> okay, everyone else there is people that I get all of the time. So, who do we still need? We need Dunkirk and Massachusetts, and I guess that's it. So, we've got half of them. There's no- I gotta- I gotta get Massachusetts, though. She's my favorite of the thing. Sirkuf is good, though. That's a good start. Oh, and I have two full submarine fleets. Not that it really matters, because you only ever use one, but... I just realized I can put her in there. Oh, better- is better tweet deck still breaking control enter? They'll probably release some kind of fix. I'm, I wonder if Twitter just changed something, or... I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's another- that is something- that is really weird in this game. I don't think I've ever played a Gashapon game. I've only played, like, maybe ten at most, but... I've never played a Gashapon game that requires two currencies to use the, um, the thinger. Okay, fine, I'll give you the Torpedo Tempura. Like, it, it's really frustrating to have a ton of cubes, but then you can't pull all you want because you have to have the money. That's especially insidious because you can't, um, you can't just stockpile money because if you do, you can't get your daily money. So, I guess it's kind of on purpose to kind of try to limit you. It doesn't really hurt too much, though. I've noticed some kind of- some stuff of the, um... Some of the game's design is kind of designed so that only whales will kind of find stuff annoying. Like the quick finishers? You'll never, ever run out of quick finishers unless you're a whale. And honestly, even if you are a whale, like, you'd have to pull a lot. Like, cause I could pull, like, 150 times and I have... 300 of the, um, the quick finishers. And... <laughs> Gently whack her on the head. This is... This is how you handle the lady types. <laughs> I think she just straight up got the, the French flag there. I'm surprised none of the American ships just have flags all over. There's a couple with, like, American flag ties, but... You'd think we would be the ridiculous, you know, rah-rah patriotism thing. Oh my god, game. I don't get why, like, everyone- <laughs> everyone except for the Germans just sits on, like, a small version of the actual sub that they are. And the Germans have these, like, shark monster things that are way cooler than everyone else's. That's not fair. <laughs> like, let me show you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me show you the subs. Sort SS. So, like, here we go. Just, just literally the boat. Giant shark monster. Literally just the boat. Uh, you can't really see it in this one. Actually, I don't know if she has a giant shark monster. Let me see your other skin. Yeah, it's a shark monster. Just, just the actual boat. Just the actual boat. <laughs> Why? Why do the Germans get the fun stuff? The French GD has a French call it EX attack. Oh, that's cool! I like when characters have unique, like, graphics for their things. Like, I really like that, um, Greenheart's special airwave thing has, um, the leanbox ships. I really like that. I need to equip that for some of my 
fact, let me, since I'm thinking about it, let me uh, toss that on, uh, I guess, Enterprise. I never remember to use my um, gear skins. Uh, skin. I don't appreciate there's different skins for each thing. Wow, I have four green heart fighters. Murr! Murr, murr, murr. Hi, Parker. I did everything I could to get all of the um, the Neptunia skins as I could. I never got. I guess I never got. Um, what is this? Ah, Parker, get your tail out of my face. I guess I didn't get a torpedo bomber one. That sucks. That's right, Parker. That's right. Murph. I didn't realize I had four of the other two and like one, or n none of the torpedo one. That kind of sucks. Uh, I think I can fit you all with Kazuna AIs. I have at least one of these. Probably with gear sets is it won't pull them from other ships. Won't it? I think I can... Or do you mean I can't remove them if they have a skin on? How is, how is um, Unicorn Illustrious' sister, by the way? Because she's a CVL, right? Was that like modified design or something? I'm sure I could just look it up. The 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 Cancole week or not Cancole. The um Ezulane Wiki actually does a moderately good job of um I don't have money, what am I doing? Um of uh showing all the historical crap. Anime girls are the only way that some people will learn things and I think at this point people should just embrace it. Teach, teach, teach about vaccines. Get the anti-vaxxers. Who would win? 15 million anti-vaxxers? Or one anime titty? Well, two anime titties, hopefully. Alright, let me put Sir Koof in here. Why, I don't, why are there two submarine fleets even, honestly? I never use my second one. <laughs> I just kind of put my ships that I don't use in there. And I don't use- I used to use you. Which is my only SR, um... Shooty torpedo thing. Submarine, whatever they're called. Um... But she's maxed out, and I don't know if I want to use two Bulins on her. Uh... Event, yes. Sure. I keep forgetting to use my um, gear skins. I use them all the time for my beginner ships because there was a Neptune event, so I put them all on my beginner people and then I never really move them over to all my people that I use now. Which, sadly enough, I use almost nobody that I used at the very beginning. The Saratoga, I still use. I got Enterprise fairly early. There's so much anime all at once. Just keep... <laughs> just queue up the dialogue lines. I don't know why it doesn't do that. Oh, hey, I could probably probably put this to 60 FPS, couldn't I? The 60 FPS option is super welcome in this game, but it also, like... This game is murder on battery, even at 30 FPS. And 60 FPS... I use Enterprise for her sheer damage for regular stuff. Her invincibility doesn't really matter nearly as much outside of PvP. It's still great for PvP though. Oh hey, we should see if I have um It's kinda of weird there's no sound that plays for the little torpedo um thinger. Do we have exercises? Sure. No foxes. Okay. No Russian, no foxes. 
It's such bullshit that the stupid twin foxes they attacked before um, Eldritch's skill is ready. Uh, it's just impossible to counter that other than just like having either drastically higher stats, which doesn't happen at, you know, high levels, or um, just bring your own foxes. Are there any hard counters to Akagi and Kaga? <laughs> Jinx. Um, I don't really want to use the foxes. For one thing, that would require using a lot of protobulins. Or grinding for like a billion years, which neither of which I really want to do. It's just boring to use what everyone else is doing. But... IGN fleets with... or IJN. The G, J, G is in, you know, GIF. International GIF Navy. I don't think I don't think international is what the I is for, but I'm just gonna pretend. <laughs> it's the international Japanese Navy, yes. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, I, do, I don't want to use the foxes. Basically, they'd, they'd be expensive. I can use a Magi. That is an acceptable fox to use. I've. She's quite useful in like any. You don't need a Japanese fleet for her to be useful. I'm just gonna go for the easy ones. I don't want to be- I don't want to be restarting stuff. Why is she a pirate, by the way? I guess because she's the bad guys, but... I mean, she's not actually a pirate. Which might be a good counter with the pirate to start a battle. Oh, true! There's, um... By the way, the artist for Portland- or not Portland, um... The artist for Vestal did a character for the Gun Girls game. <laughs> she's she's exactly Vestal with some minor differences. There was a tweet about it. Who is screaming Nanoda? Oh, that's that's um yeah, that's Yuki Kaze. Um, who was it? There's another character in some other game I played that says Nanoda in like every sentence. What does that mean? And it was just, it was another squeaky like screamy voice too. <laughs> the ship only got to sh shoot one shot after it got stolen by the Germans. Huh. I guess that's why she fires at the start of battle then. That's her one shot. This game loves romanticizing ships that did fucking nothing, by the way. Most of the ships that give, like, permanent or, like, full fleet buffs and stuff did not actually do jack shit in terms of actual military. So, like, Queen Elizabeth, um, was practically a, basically a holdover from World War I. Um, she spent almost all of her time in dock being repaired. Um, didn't sink during the war, I don't think, but just did not actually participate very much. Um, Graf Zeppelin was literally never finished. They had a launching ceremony, despite her being in dry dock and never launching, actually. Not sure how that works, but she basically did not exist. She stored timber. Not even kidding. She was used to store timber, so <laughs> completely useless ship. Um... Despite that, is one of the better German ships in the game, um, with a full fleet buff. Um, who else is there? Amagi was did not get finished. I don't think Amagi got turned into a Kagi, which I don't know why they rechanged the name, but they weren't allowed to finish her as a battleship because of the treaty, so she ended up being a carrier instead. Same with Kaga, but Kaga did not get uh, name changed. There was a whole event about that. Well, it wasn't about that, but... Well, it kind of was about that, actually. But there was an event where you could get the old versions of Amaki and Kaga. Who else is there? I guess Jean Bart, which we kind of already talked about. I guess... She, I didn't even know that, but I guess she got sunk. Um, Bismarck. Bismarck, I guess, is justified as being, you know, super rare and stuff, but Bismarck sunk a grand total of one fucking other ship. Um, 
It was it was a pretty dramatic sinking though. Uh, Bismarck sunk hood. Uh oh. Mediacom. We good Mediacom? Okay, I think we're okay. Uh, Bismarck sunk hood with was it a single shot? It was ridiculous. It was an extremely lucky long range shot that just. Hood just fucking exploded. Um, but other than that, <laughs> just kind of spent its whole life being chased and getting absolutely bombarded to fucking pieces. Which was relevant in game because, like, it actually made sense that you fight the same boss like five times. Because that's kind of just what they did. They just kind of beat up. Bismarck got bullied really hard. I actually don't know much about the um, French or uh, Italian navies' involvement. I really don't know why it doesn't cure up the dialogues. I'm sorry, I probably talk about that every time I stream this, but I don't. I don't usually play this with sound. Usually the only times I ever play this with sound is when I pull it up at work and I've accidentally left the volume like really high. And so suddenly it's like anime screaming from my cube. Fortunately I usually only pull it up when there's like music going on, not like anime noises. Uh, let's get this. Monarch's attitude is so terrible. I, I kind of regret building her first. I hate her personality. She seems pretty good. She's like basically hood, but with armor piercing shots instead of regular ones. Yeah, they could just queue it up and have like one play after another because like so many ships start off. Um, like if you have a passive, it triggers at the beginning of battle. So all of them talk at once if they have a passive. And a lot of the good ships have passives, because that's what makes them good. So a lot of good fleets involve large amounts of anime screaming at all times. Though I will say, Hood's shots... It aims really weird, and in some fights, it will not aim anywhere near the boss. Um, I remember with Sendai, I had to wait. I had to wait for her to get to a very specific position for Hood's shot to potentially be able to hit her. And in some battles, I've seen it just end up way in front of the boss and not have any chance of hitting. Oh yeah, with anyone that shoots a special barrage like Hood or Monarch. You want them in the middle, ideally, because it bases... The centering of the shot is based on where they are in the row. So, like, if you put Terror at the top, it kind of shoots from the top and, and probably misses half the characters. Which is a shame, because you don't want Terror or Erebus as your flagship. I feel like they really need to give a retro to Terror and Erebus. I really like them a lot. But having light armor and low HP, like, destroyer low HP, they just aren't that great. I think, like, destroyers, or, um, heavy cruisers at least, where after level 100, they get way better evasion stats. Which, if you didn't know, um, heavy cruisers are weird in that they're really good early on, and they're nice to have because of auto battle just because they have strong guns, and guns are better on auto. But um, heavy cruisers are really good early on. They aren't too great late levels, like towards the 90s and just up to 100. But after 100, heavy cruisers start getting huge amounts of evasion. Like destroyers from level 100 to 120 will add like 3 to 6 evasion. Heavy cruisers will add like 30 or 40. So... Heavy cruisers just add a crazy amount of survivability after level 100, so that might seem like they suck, but if you start leveling them to at least 150, or 105, 105, 110, they're actually really good. Portland in particular is ridiculous. I love Portland. <laughs> Monarch's, Monarch's lines are so... 
Ugh. <laughs> Can we put her back in the shipyard? Finishing her was a mistake. I'm really glad that, like, all of the ships... I was fearing that, like, all of the priority ships would be like her. The thing with the priority ships is that they were all either destroyed before World War II or did not get finished or were cancelled or whatever. Monarch was cancelled. Rune? I don't understand Rune. Rune was completed, um, and she didn't do very much, and she just got blasted to pieces before World War II ever started. I have no idea why she is... I believe, at least, she is one of the better German ships in this game. I mean, she's a priority ship. I think all the priority ships are at least good. I think they've fucked up with the effective HP and ultra buff. Yeah. yeah, it really seems like they realized heavy cruisers got the short end of the stick because the evasion on them is really bad. So, like, uh, let me bring up exact numbers here. Alright, so at level 100, Retrofit Portland has 45 evasion. At level 120, she has 87 evasion. So, yeah, she gains like, yeah, she gains like 30 evasion, so, uh, compare that to random destroyer here. Uh... Kamikaze. Kamikaze goes from 187 evasion, which obviously higher, um, but she only gains 5 evasion in 20 levels to 193. So heavy cruisers get tons of evasion extra. And they really did not have enough to, to compensate to begin with. There's, it's still, I still wouldn't really recommend bringing too many heavy cruisers to bosses late game, but heavy cruisers can still be great in um, just clearing mobs. You want destroyers when there's bosses that deal like literally a thousand damage in a single hit, which is like a third of a destroyer's health. Like freaking, what, what stage am I at? Uh, 12-2, this fight, if you take like three extra hits, it completely destroys a ship in your vanguard from certain attacks. It's really annoying, but fortunately you can replay fights if you're fast about it anyway. Let me see how Neptune is doing. I wanted to finish Neptune. What do we got here? 99%. Okay, we're finishing Neptune today, so that'll be exciting. I'll have double the Neptune. How terrifying. Uh, event. And I already, f I already finished the normal thing for this. We actually can't play the next thing until uh, late tomorrow. Not entirely sure why they do that. I guess they just don't want you to finish it all in one day. The the um the Abyssrium devs are really insistent about that. You're just not allowed to finish a, a game a event in less than a month. Sorry if the game looks a little fuzzy, by the way. It's a little lower resolution. I should have maximized it before I started streaming. It's really weird, though, the way I have to capture Nox player. Who was I looking up? Crap, who? <laughs> I was gonna look up somebody on the wiki and I forget already. Nope, don't remember. Go 4K. I'm not sure this game has 4K assets. <laughs> this is the loading screen I absolutely love getting at work, like, all of the time. <laughs> it's been in here for like 10 updates, too. They're never gonna remove this one. 
Now, do they love a thing that lets you choose the updates? Alright, oh, I was gonna look up Terror and Erebus. I was gonna see if they have retrofits, which I'm pretty sure they don't. Terror doesn't. Nope, Erebus doesn't either. That sucks. Like, I get the reference, I get that it's relevant for monitors, but gameplay-wise, it does not make sense. Um, monitors were mostly used for, like, bombardment of stationary targets, like, onshore and stuff. So, monitors had big guns, they were slow as hell, and they weren't very big and they didn't have very thick armor. But... They just don't have an upside, really, in this game. Other than they use a little bit less oil, but that's about it. But it'd be nice to be able to go back to the load, like, select your loading screens. Because there's a bunch of really good loading screens that you never get to see because they were from old events. And there was some loading screens that I think they only used in the Japanese, or the Chinese and maybe Japanese versions. Like, there was a Neptunia event one that they never used. What a weird combo of characters this is, by the way. Why does the zombie rabbit get to be the shopkeep, by the way? Does anyone like the zombie rabbit? Like, I like rabbits, but like... She basically doesn't have a personality. And she's a commandeer destroyer. I regret retrofitting Ajax, by the way. <laughs> she turns she turns from like a regular character into a foot fetishist. I don't I don't stand for that at all. 556 looks so happy at all the time, by the way. I fucking love her. I love characters that just are happy. I vote unabashedly horny they make these games. Yes. This freaking dog weirds me out, I'm sorry. It's like a llama camel dog. Explorer is a guitar fish, by the way. Which is a kind of ray, more or less. I figure most people don't know what a guitar fish is. Less foot fetish, more femdom. Yeah, kind of, but I mean, the art is very foot fetish, and her retrofit quote specifically refers to feet. I don't oppose femdom, but like, uh, the feet thing. I was already disappointed by Concord with that. She's very cute, but then you get her, and then it's like, just feet. <laughs> I do kind of appreciate that a lot of the characters are very unabashedly, well, horny, as was mentioned. Um, I'm not a fan of some things, like... Takao's? Is it Takao or Akago? I think it's Atago. I don't remember which one is which. But one of them is, like, really horny, which I do stand for, but, but they're also, like... They're all into the big cis fetish, and it's like, nah. Aw. Nah, this ain't it, Chief. <laughs> I like this. I like this loading screen that just like blatantly admits that the the gold tech packs are a fucking lie and a scam. They know exactly what what they mean. Is it more foot or more stocking? She explicitly mentions licking her feet as part of the retrofit quote. I, I remember that much. I got it today, so I remember it. Is her... Is her barrage better than Hood's or worse? It shoots less currently, but that's probably just because I have a lower skill, I bet. I figured that skill level just increased damage, but I noticed with uh, Zeppi's thing, it actually... It changed a bunch of her shots from regular shots into AP, which is pretty cool. 
I always appreciate when things increase more than just like numbers, you know? Add more shots, add a more complex batter instead of just being like, oh, it does 9 damage instead of 8 now. Oh, oops. You were supposed to be the boss fleet. Monarch, she's one of the best. Really? I have noticed that she seems a lot more common for people to, like, stand for in their profile picks. I'm not sure that necessarily means <laughs> gameplay-wise, but... I've seen a lot more people proud of Monarch. It seems like a lot more people got Monarch than the other priority ships. She has a lot more hearts. Even though the, they capped the hearts thing at 1,000, and like almost all ships have 1,000. So that's kind of a meaningless metric. Unless the ship is really new. I want to refill my trick and be back in just a sec here. Um. Alright, back. And I'm gonna Google what the hell is in a hurricane. It's- you know what's really weird? Alcohol is so much more regulated than, like, any other drink in America. But, alcohol- alcoholic drinks don't have to list their ingredients. Everything else does. What- what is up with that? That doesn't make any sense. That- all you have to do is list the amount of alcohol, like, percentage of alcohol, and the fact that it's alcoholic, like, why is... That doesn't make sense. Hey, farmer. Um, all right, ingredients. Two ounce light rum, three ounce dark rum, six ounce passion fruit juice, six ounce orange fruit juice, two teaspoon grenadine, two orange slices, two... Okay, I don't have... I don't have two orange slices or two marichizo cherries, but it's because it came in a big old bottle. What is grenadine again? Commonly used non-alcoholic bar syrup characterized by a flavor that both tart and sweet. I think it's the yeah, it's the grenadine that I'm tasting. It kinda has a tart aftertaste to it. A lot of fancy drinks have that. I guess I should get some grenadine at some point. Hey Master Sword. Why is des the only Japanese word you can say without a vowel at the end? Big gray boy heard your voice on stream and leapt onto the bed. I think he's a bed. Barker doesn't really react, react to voices. He, he loves um, fast moving stuff though. 
It's actually Desu, but you whisper the U. Yeah, I know that it's Desu, but like... You're allowed to pronounce it Des. I've, I've rarely ever heard... Basically any other Japanese word end in not a vowel sound. Oh, some of the loading screens in this game have like... Ridiculously different proportions for the characters than are actually in the game. Like the titties on glass one we just saw. Like... The destroyers are obviously lowly and crap and that sucks, but like... They make... They make Nicholas look like she's like five. She looks at least... Like, I don't know, 14. Let me show you what that character looks like in the regular thing. Like, not... She's not like six. I don't know. Even the submarine isn't that young. Them boobs are the same. Yeah, who is, who is the titty monster on the right, by the way? I've never found out who that is. Is that Prince of Wales? Because she's not that busty in-game either, but you know, there, there's some liberties. They use different artists and stuff for the loading screens, which is great. Oh, here we got Neptune. All right, who should be our next project? We only got three left. Finally get Neptune. Oh, I've never used, you know what's sad? I've, n I've literally never sortied with St. Louis. I've got her at research level 10 and everything. I've never used her because I've had to use British cruisers instead. Large light cruiser. Okay. She's a maid, of course. Oh yeah, I thought you were here when we got the uh, the French sub. All right, so we can get. Japanese cruiser. I'm so tired, <laughs> guys. I'm so tired of standing six cruisers at all times from the same nation. But I have. There's two more cruisers to get. There's Rune with a big old fucking shrimp. Just you can't tell me that's not a shrimp. Look at it. Let me find. Look at it. It's a big ol' curly shrimp. It's got a shark head on it, but that's a, that's a scrimp. That's a scrimp that she's got back there. Anyway. Why are the- why are the- it Could be a prawn. Same thing. You know what I mean. Why are the things sli animated sliding in? I thought I'd turn that off. Oh, whatever. There was this really nice thing for YouTube chat that had all of the options I wanted, and it doesn't work with Twitch, and I don't know how to put Twitch on screen and not be a little ugly. But yeah, the Germans get all of the best rigging. No one else really has fun rigging, frankly. Like I was talking about earlier, they get fucking sharks for the, um, the submarines. Everyone else just gets literally the original sub. So, what should I get though, chat? I can get Ibuki, Japanese cruiser. I hear the Japanese ones are not very good. And I don't think, J other than Takao and Otago, I don't think Japan has a lot of good cruisers. And I don't have Graf Spee, so... I don't really have very good German, um, who's Watts, it's cruisers either. New Abyssrium Fist dropped. Uh, I'll probably do a video for that this weekend then. And this Izumo Japanese uh, battleship with some real. She's got those like she's almost got one of those like '60s cone bra things going on, just like pointed straight out there. Ruins of pain they asked to unlock. Yeah, I I do have to still retrofit the um, the common German cruisers, so that could be useful for that at least. Her boobs so low. they're not that low. Who are we talking about here? I hate, I don't like the flesh horns actually, especially how they turn red and stuff. That's weird. It's not how horns do. Horns are like a bone with like a thing covering them. Is that what or Oni horns is supposed to be? 
Zuma was the low titty. This is a pretty regular titty. That's not the navel. There's just kind of like a cleavage dot in there. I don't know what that's about. That's just kind of there to accentuate the boobage, I guess. You gotta have, you know, one of those. It's the latest style. I thought I heard it was the latest style. Absolutely not the case. Anyway, who should we pick? The girl with the skin horns? They're a little low. I think they just kind of exaggerated her neck. Because of the scarf thing. She just has like... There's a bit too much neck. And they were like, huh. They focus so much on the scarf, like, oh crap, where do I put the boobs? We'll just kind of put them over here. I was under impression these humans reincarnated from ships. Uh, yes, they kind of. I'm not sure they're exactly humans, but they are reincarnated ships, but... Um, the way it works... Um, the good guys don't use siren technology, which is like evil alien crap, basically. Um, the Japanese girls have like become like part animal people and like onis and stuff um, Because they use because they were the bad guys really <laughs> it's to make them look evil though. The Japanese ones don't really look that evil um, German ones look evil, but um, that's just try they try to make the bad guys look bad and stuff But they use siren technology, which is why they have different, you know rigging and stuff That's why the Germans are you know have fucking shark ships and I don't know why evil for the Germans means like evil shark ship things and then evil for the Japanese ones means like Kawaii desu desu fox ears <laughs> like, uh, uh, the, the, the majority of evil definitely went into the Germans The Germans did try to use that kind of is almost accurate to the fucking Germans though because Ger Nazi Germany was ridiculous and they tried to use like real comic super vi villain bullshit and they would like try to make like giant tanks that like don't fucking work and they tried to be all fancy and it didn't work out very well. I have 64 blueprint or 62 blueprints for you. Corresponding. Oh, I gotta level you up. Raising the priority ships is kind of weird. Anyway, I've seen no opinions. What, which, which one should we pick, chat? I'm leaning towards either Rune or um, Izumo. Just because, like... I kind of lean towards Izumo just because that way I can use three back row ships and I can use whatever I want for the Vanguard. I've been using pure cruisers for, like, two months now. <laughs> I'm so tired. I hope it takes like a full year for the second set of priority ships to come because I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Get low, titty girl. Uh, I'm kind of leaning towards that just because of that. She's got a fucking Sephiroth sword. Look at this. So the girls are some sort of artificial humanoids that essentially a quantum computer in their head and was Yeah, pretty much that. Her head's like two feet back from the chest. Again, I think it's mostly the... I think the artist kind of got confused with the scarf situation. It looks like the super bad League of Legends official art with the girl with the rifle. I have no idea. Yeah, I have the three that I really wanted, and now I'm just stuck with the three I didn't really care about, but I guess I should work towards now. Rune looks alright, but using German cruisers is gonna be an absolute bitch and a half. So... Who do I got for German? Let's go with Ibiki. Or I I Zoom Wh Whichever one this is. Meat horns, girl. So, I gotta use a bunch of Sakura Fleet battleships. Oh, and I can use the aviation battleships, actually. Which doesn't make any sense. The monitors, battle monitors, are way closer to battleships than aviation battleships, I would say. 
but aviation battleships count and battle monitors don't. The year two ships can use any ship of the country. Oh my god, thanks. That's that is that is so much better actually. Um I guess I can use I like the kitty ships. So you so I guess Kaga? I'd never see Kaga in PvP, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Amagi. <laughs> I already use Amagi to death, so I don't really need to bring her along. Which is better, Hayuga or Issei? Or should I use any of these? These ones are cheap, at least. Haruna? Uh, how cheap is Haruna? Seven? Uh, two stars? BB Kaga is better than CV Kaga? Really? Huh. Um... Let me just chug, shove the cheaper quote-unquote ones in there. Kongo. Isn't Kongo one of the most famous, like, Kankole ones? And then, like, her design is just, like... Japanese girl with brown hair and tried maiden outfit. You probably don't need to hear me rag on- What is your face? Look at that face! What are you doing? Look at that grump. Take a closer look at that snout. I've never seen a ship girl that grumpy. What? What is her problem? I need to see what your deal is now. She's got horns! I didn't know she had horns! Okay, improve- in, improvement immediately. I didn't know she had horns. I thought she was just like the only Japanese ship without he ears or horns. As aviation maybe Hyuga is probably better. Huh. I think Mutsu is like garbage, right? She's just Nagato with one less skill, basically. Can Elizabeth Warren be please be president? Yes, agreed. Take a closer look at that snout. Ugh. I wish they had frickin' carrier priority ships. I guess carriers became good, like, really sought after, so they didn't cancel any carriers, so there's no priority ships. Because again, they, they fetishized the ships that never turned out to be. Brown hair and shrine maiden. You just described half of Can Cola. <laughs> exactly. That is exactly my problem with it. That's Can Cola designs are either blonde girl in traditional Japanese dress or brown haired girl in traditional Japanese dress. And then there's the one, like Iowa looks okay, I guess. Even Iowa. Iowa is like, in my opinion, their best design, and she just does not even. She's like as good as like one Azure Lane girl. Like Azure Lane's designs are so drastically much better. I'm sorry. Uh, I have so few of these. All right, but I can get these. So, uh, we're going for the higher level, but hopefully that won't be a big deal. Yamashiro and Fausto are doing pretty all right. Congo doesn't actually have horns. She has horns on her hat. Are you sure? Well, the Brit made ships the Japanese. Really? I didn't know that, actually. Huh. Uh, Kaga, I guess. This music is so dramatic, it's about to bust a nut. Uh, let's bring... I guess Matsu... Oh, wait. I, just I don't think I've equipped these guys. Let me... Let me actually put gear on these guys. Come on. Why is Mutsu- why are Mutsu and Natago, like, destroyer-sized? Hell, Natago is smaller than destroyer. She's like, fucking eight. What's the- what's the deal? Stop- stop talking, please. That's a lot of words. Alright, I got some of these prototype guns finished, finally. Um, Can Cole also really abuses the sister ship design thing. Like, sister ships will be almost identical in Can Cole. 
Um, in this game, there's some design similarities, but it's much more different. It's more like regular anime sisters where like, you know, you and your sister can have completely different skin tone, hair color, different type of hair, different eye color, <laughs> um, three feet of height difference, and you know, plus minus a hundred pounds, and that's just, you know, family resemblance in anime. Uh, those are probably alright guns. I guess I'll just throw... I just usually put repair toolkits on everybody. Oh. Okay. Uh, repair toolkit and usually reloaders for the, uh... It sucks you can't use auto loaders for the plane, or for the carriers. I get why, because it doesn't make sense that an auto loader makes you load planes faster, but still. To be fair, my younger brother's a seven foot tall, red haired anime girl with wings. Yeah, true. Sucks how some people get all of the good genetics. So all of the Jap or all the Japanese some all of the prototype ones are good, right? But like tier zero. That has really slow firing though. I'll keep it at six. I need the cold for now. Yeah, I'll keep it cheap because I I want to build a lot of stuff. I really want. I really need Massachusetts. Um, I don't care as much about. Were these for like small battleships or something? Like I really don't get what the deal is with Natago and Itagi. Or... Some are far better. Some are worse. Huh. Let's take that from Little Sandy. Oh, special ops. Yeah, yeah. It's so dumb that you can't take stuff from people just because, no, uh, whatever. I guess they... I guess they're just barely on her hat. They don't look like they are, but I guess they are. She does look like... That's kind of... They do some neat design stuff. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Oh yeah, Kassin and Downus. Let me take a look at Kassin. Um, common DD. Uh, not Japanese. So Kassin and Downus, um, they got suicide bombed at Pearl Harbor. Um, and... The original ships were pretty much completely destroyed, but they um, they put together basically new ships, and they just called them Kassin and Downas. So they kind of have um, they've got the achromatic eyes to be um, you know, and they got kind of band aids and stuff, just to kind of show they were put back together and stuff. Which is kind of funny because officially speaking, they're more zombies than. Um, than um, Terror over here is. In fact, Terror is not actually... <laughs> the original Terror is not really a zombie at all. Um, Terror and Erebus are grimdark style because um, they were named after a couple of like 18th century ships that... Uh, um, where did they sink? I think they were going to the North Pole or some bullshit. We're going on some kind of adventure and they sunk. Hermes gets a jet ski? Really? <laughs> oh, so she does. Let me show you this. Yeah, we don't have Hermes uh, retrofit yet. I like that the classics, or the classics, the, the commons, tend to all get um, retrofits. Screw the rules, I have white hair. I like Terror a lot though. I wish I wish she was better. She's Terror and Erebus are not that good. They have really cool skills, but they have nothing really else going for them, and that's a shame. 
And almost no one, like, several other battleships have exactly their skills, so they're... It just makes them not special, and I hope they give them a retro. Kanko is so mad! She's so mad. She's freaking saltier than a TD poster today. I can't believe the Reddit admins did literally anything, by the way. When did- how often does that- oh my- oh my god, guys! I have 25 coins! Oh shit. Well, shit. <laughs> Yamashiro knows no chill, by the way. Oh. That's- <laughs> that dialogue is a bad example, but she has zero chill, trust me. Hey, what does Sandy's retrofit look like? I never really use Sandy. Let me look this up real quick. I heard her retrofit is really good. She looks short. I guess it's just the position of her legs. But... <laughs> she looks kinda short. Puffing that chest out there, though. It does look better than our usual outfit, though. I was tempted to get a Christmas outfit, except for the animation. I don't like the animation on it. My wife says they were part of the Lost Franklin Expedition Canada. Boats just got stuck in fucking ice forever because they were so stupid. She slapped me in the boot until yeah, I am right, tell him I am right. It's something like that, yes. If I, I remember them being talked about. Um, I was listening to... Um, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and the Erebus and Terror were mentioned there, I think. There's a bunch of other sunken fucking ships, so they were probably mentioned there anyway. Something I really like about 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and that era of science fiction is just seeing what, like, over a hundred years ago, what they thought the future was going to be like and see what they kind of got right. Like, electricity and what they got... <laughs> Not so right. And they were real stupid about Canada back then. Um, fuck, I don't know who to grind for frontline. I have I haven't been able to have a free frontline in in like over a month. I have no idea who to pick. Oh, right, I gotta- I gotta put gear on Kaga. These duders are fine. Kaga, I don't think I have gear on. Nope, you have trash. Realize your weakness is nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, what are we gonna give you? Uh, you could have the slow one. Uh, why why are there no good CL why is there only one good CL gun? There's no other there's no alternatives. What's the deal? Alright, I can use I'm gonna I'm gonna level St. Louis just because, because I, I took so much effort to unlock her. Uh, I guess I should put Neptune in the daycare, so I can, like, use her at some point. Oh, right. I can't level that up yet. Uh... I guess I'm not using Southampton. Uh... Oops. Oh, Haruna, I already got geared. Fausto is already good. Little Bell, I don't need to use you anymore. Little Bell's skill seems really under-statted, like, uh, not that one. That one's alright, actually. But her heal is, like, really weak. If it happened intermittently, like, um, Akashi's, sure, but, like, just once? This combo of HE, high fire rate, and good spray is an amazing combo. I mean, it is a good gun, but there's literally no other orange CL guns that I've seen. It's just weird. They could at least be a good AP one. I 
tend to prefer AP just because you can hit two targets. Then we don't need to use Little Bell anymore. I'm salty that the little... I'm salty that the kiddo ships do not count towards the, um... They don't count towards the fleet thing, because, like, it means there's no reason to use Bulins on them, so I just don't want to. Who has that? Who this man? Why he everywhere? That's on Sussex. Aw, oh, fucking hell. Uh, you can take it from Bismarck. If you claim to be a religion, you're a cult. That sounds about right to me, actually, but obviously there's gonna be some cognitive dissonance real bad there. That's on Leander, right? I guess I won't be using Leander. Leander's really good, by the way. Leander and Aurora. I was really impressed with their performance when I was just grinding CLs. Alright. Who are we gonna use for frontline? Who should I grind, chat? I'll look at my, like, below level 80s. So... No Japanese ones. Vichy, Di Vichy Dominion? Huh. And no Japanese ones or German ones, because I'll eventually need to grind those. Event DD gun is super good, better than regular DD. Really? Huh. Oh, I could grind uh, Ning and Ping. Deutschland? Uh, Deutschland, I'll be grinding eventually. Deutschland will be one of my ones that I grind for Rune. I'm still super... I'm still super salty I didn't get Yatsen. I didn't even realize I missed somebody. But I didn't get Yatsen when she was available, and she buffs Ning and Ping. But I need to get retros for Ning and Ping, so I think I'll bring them. Glowworm's Ram seems kind of fun, but I don't know if... I don't know if I should subject my fleet to that. Uh, should I level up Jano? I've never... I'm not sure if she's really worth the slot for the Martyr skill, but it does seem pretty powerful. Oh right, Elegant Kazuna AI. Isn't she supposed to be like top tier for the story mode? Because she is... <laughs> that face. She um, resists HE ammo. With the one auto and the ram a lot anyway. True. <laughs> I love that everyone has different animations for being picked up. A couple of them like it. A lot of them panic. <laughs> Kaga is not a fan. <laughs> uh, sure, we'll go with that. Portland does not need more levels. Portland is, Portland is a god already. Uh, who else? Just give me a shout if you see somebody under leveled that is actually pretty good, I guess. Or that would be fun to level up. Oh, right, frickin'. Oh, she's on. Frick. Okay, we'll level up St. Louis later. I forgot I put her on patrol already. I'll definitely include St. Louis and eventually Neptune. Oh, is Monty good? <laughs> Ad permitted term Monty is a shit. <laughs> that that stupid swear filter. I thought the swear filter was like, like for like racist stuff and like extreme stuff, not for like shit. You can say shit in a teen rated game, by the way. That is, I'm gonna turn that off. Uh, how do I turn that off? All right, moderation. I'm just gonna turn off the swear filter. It's not doing a good job. Okay, I think, oh, the, the, the racist stuff is under like a different, I have the least filtering, guys. I have the least filtering on profanity and shit is still gotten. Whatever. Okay, Automod will no longer catch swear words at all. Uh, so, who is in least need of a spot? 
cast a <laughs> the glorious event. I'm, they, they they no effort was made on like giving them personalities. Acosta just is like, hey, I'm Acosta. That's her whole intro. Let chat say fuck. Yes, indeed. Let's put in Sarkoof and. Or oh, I have to remove someone else then. I hope you can't hear my washing machine, by the way, or my dishwasher, rather. Um, Columbia. Just don't save my sort settings. That's fine. All right, I got Jean Bart to uh, level up too. I got lazy last event. <laughs> yeah, Glorious is just like bad, l lusty. She's just not good. I'm gonna. Why does she have a green shadow? Oh, is that just? Oh, that's just. Never mind. That's just part of the thingy. She looks all gropey when you pick her up. Yeah, she. Um, Glorious is just bad, lusty. She's just not good. None of none of the characters from that event were good, and it took so many things to uh, to do. Question: Do you see all the chat? Yes. Oh no, I don't see what's just on the screen. What's on screen? I should probably increase the size of that. That's kind of it's a lot smaller than it used to be. I increased the size of the thing, um, but no, I I have a chat up in a separate window. But no, I can see the backlog and stuff. Let me increase that slightly. I'm just not used to putting chat on stream, and I don't really like having to do it, but because I have to upload to YouTube separately to use Twitch, it's kind of a pain. But yeah, I'm probably not missing any chat. Um, one thing I was thinking of is... Um, what I could do is stream to both Twitch and YouTube, but have the YouTube be unlisted, and then have a chat repeater post the chat into the YouTube chat, and then it would be as if I had streamed to YouTube, even though I didn't actually stream to YouTube. And maybe that would work? I don't know if that's technically against Twitch's affiliate policy or not, but I don't think they would be able to notice or care, so I might just try that. Thanks, Oklahoma. Yeah, I, I I figured. I saw the fours and I'm like, hmm, maybe it will be the good ones. The the rare, the limited units are usually like four hours plus. But no. Ugh. I did get lucky to two of the SR subs trying to get daily pulls. Ugh. I, I did get one of the super rare subs. I'm missing U46. It's, uh... 81, and I'm missing, um, I'm missing the Japanese bunny one. I don't remember what the goddamn number is. Isn't 40, 47? 47 is one too, the, the German one. What's the I in the German subs? Like for you, um, the German ones, it's Unterseeboot, which is just literally undersea boat. <laughs> It just cracks me. It's so literal. I love- German is a very literal language, and a lot of those famous, like, the extremely long German words, the trick is they're just like, they're just a descriptive term for the word crammed all in one without any spaces. That's- that's all they are. Like, Fugzoig, um, fuck, what is it? Let me look this up. Flugzeug ver kanone. Can I? Flugzeugs. Flugzeug something. I'm too. <laughs> I've had too many drinks for more than 10 syllables. But they're just. <laughs> they're just what you would say in English without the spaces. They're not really words. Flammenwaffen mit Wasser. Yes. German is. It's a very literal language, which makes a lot of sense for German. 
been idling cards for the past two days or so. Forty-five cards. Oh, yeah. If you're if you're not use um, Archie Steam Farm. If you have a lot of games on Steam you never play, but you want to get a little bit of Steam money out of them, um, Archie Steam Farm. Um, there used to be this thing called Idol Master, but they stopped updating it. But basically, Archie Steam Farm lets you um, get cards for free, and then you can sell them and get actual games and stuff. But Congo and Haruna? I guess this bottom one should be my grind fleet since it's going to be cheaper. This is a new version of Idolmaster? Really? I thought that guy abandoned it. I'm glad he didn't, but... Eh. Oh. Uh, who did we decide to grind? I kind of wish Grenville was better. <laughs> Grenville does not... <laughs> Grenville doesn't look anything like a destroyer, by the way. Uh, oh yeah, we're gonna do Ning and Ping. Um, St. Louis, except she's on a thing. She's on a freaking... Mission. We're on a mission from God. Uh, Ning and Ping. Kirishima? Doesn't sound familiar. I have Boku no Pico Academia. Uh, who else we got here? Hmm. It's so weird to be able to pick my own fleet. I guess elegant, because I'm not sure. I don't remember if I gave you gear, though. Let's level Beep Sheep, why not? She could do with some levels. Uh, um... Oh yeah, I freaking retrofitted Downas and I haven't been able to use her at all. Downas and uh, Kassin are fantastic for low... Um, low oil grinding. Whomst. I kind of like Vampire. Let's grind Vampire. I don't know if any of these ships have any fucking gear. But that's fine. Probably. Maybe. Probably not, actually, but we'll pretend it is. Um... <laughs> I do wish there was just an auto-equip button, honestly. I don't really care how bad it is. Just put something of, like, the best tier of unequipped crap that I have. So fucking dramatic. Uh, put vampire over here. She's so fucking short. Look at that. Um, sure. I have no idea. Oh my god, they're already cost sixty fuel. I really don't like how better ships cost more stamina in this game. Basically, that just seems rude. Kamala just took a big shit on Biden. Of all of the people. Not a Kamala fan, but I just want Biden to drop out. I think, I think no matter what happened, we would get an all right candidate as long as Biden drops out. Biden kind of fucking sucks, though. The worst person you know just made a great point. It's it's easy to dump on Biden, though. I did see someone today that is a big fan for Warren and Kamala, like with Kamala as VP. That's such a weird- whoa! Who is shooting like, sea nukes? Are those vampires? Are those vampires, uh, skill? Huh, I've never seen those before, it must be. Oh. <laughs> this isn't gonna work very well. I, I think if we had better gear, but... Yeah, Suffolk... Uh, let me let me check what Suffolk's... Uh... Suffolk. Why is Suffolk pronounced that way, by the way? Why... why, why what, what's up with them Brits? Uh, 100... Okay, yeah, she's, she's just like, wow, she actually gains more evasion. 
um, than Portland does. She gets up to 65 just like Portland does. But she starts from even lower. See, her, her survivability is like, oh crap, primarily due to the low evasion. Plus this is a jump in difficulty. Can we raise Sir Koof a bit? Uh, I hate maxing out stats. At least once they're under level 100. Mian Jean. Oh, you're Max. Wait, why are you the next one in line? This music is so dramatic. Um. Kumst. Oh, oh, I've probably never buffed uh, what's her butt. Um, Kazuna. Oh, right, I can't. Oh, whatever. I'll buff you in a second. What's your favorite ship girl cla or chat class? Yes. I want you to <laughs> give me a 10 paragraph essay on your favorite ship girl class. Due by 5 p.m. today. So four hours ago. I like big titty ship girl because big titty big. Agreed, agreed. Very good. Who is my favorite? Probably Portland, honestly. I like Portland a lot. Excluding the Neptunia girls, because I feel like that's cheating, at least in my case. By the 5th century, the Angeles, the South Folk, North. Oh, the South fucking- Really? It's just that simple? Huh. Also, why is Northampton from the US and Southampton is British? Are those- Where- where, where is- Let me look- What the fuck is Southampton? Southampton. Isn't that in like- Yeah, this isn't like New Hampshire. Or, wait. Oh! Southampton is in, in Hampshire, England. Is Northampton in, like, New Hampshire? Like, America land? Oh, no, it's in regular England. Why is... Oh, there's a Northampton in Massachusetts. Okay. It's almost like Americans came from England and then they named a bunch of places the same things that England places were named after. It was an old York? Colorado. Ugh. I'm still pissed. I missed- there was an event called Fallen Wings that had like all of the English or the American battleships and like they had a bunch of great designs and I missed all of them and they really need to repeat that. I like that loading screen a lot by the way. Lots of different characters, decent amount of stuff going on, good art. Nothing particularly off model either. I like Suffolk a lot though. Suffolk was probably my first ship that I got, and I was like, oh my god, that's amazing. She's a fucking sheep, and she has big tits. I mean, what more do you want? Yeah, that's gotta be- that's vampire skill, right? The little- the little, like, sea nukes? Big titty, white-haired, goth, tall as fuck, big seven battleship. I'm- I'm not a big fan of the white hair at all, but all of the rest of that is good. Mass or not Massachusetts, that's from this one. Minneapolis is fucking amazing though, and I didn't get Minneapolis. Minneapolis is probably the ship that I missed that I'm the most pissed off about. Let me show you, er, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of, right? Yes. She's so fucking cool.
Oh, and she's got a skin that's pretty good, too. I'm sorry, I'm pretty sure that ass would, like, completely crush any school table. It's hefty. She looks like a dot hat character, too, with the little... She's got, like, wave symbols on the cheeks. Ugh. Bring it back. She's got a fucking burger and fries! Most American thing ever. God damn it. Bring her back! Bring her back, you fucks! Ugh. But yeah, the... What was it called? Fallen Wings event has, like... 10 American ships that I missed. And I mostly use American ships when I'm not grinding for bullshit. Oops, that's not. There we go. Arg. <laughs> My back row takes no damage. Um, shit. This is what sucks about not bringing a unicorn or anything. Bless me with Lux for the pull. I don't know if you should ask me for the luck. I've had, well, I guess I've had mediocre luck. So you feel free to my, having my mediocre luck, I guess. Hopefully this works. I'm gonna put Cass in first. Vampire just seems small. Do you see that? I don't know what it is. She just looks small. I'm gonna be right back. All right, back. I figured at least one of them would live to the end there. Vampires are a little- I guess! 
I mean, she's a destroyer, but like, whatever. Not bad coins there. Oh, the church is on fire. <laughs> Resisting urge to reference certain. Why does. What, what determines how many things you can go? Because I noticed Bismarck can go like four spaces if she's alone, but Mutsu here for some reason can only go four? I'm guessing it's like to do with the speed stat. I noticed that with the subs too. Yeah, just use JP or JPN for Japanese stuff. JP is this standard thing, uh, abbreviation, I guess, for that. Ship type cruisers and BB have smaller range. Oh, so it's not based on your. I figured it would be based on your main fleet. Huh. matters very much. <laughs> when they just ram a ship. They just gleefully sit inside of another ship. Cause ramming, I think you do equal damage to yourself and the other ship, which makes sense for ramming. <laughs> Unless your name is Glowworm. Most ships did not combat by ramming. Oh my god. Guys! F fine, I'll, I'll control. The <laughs> guy's a freaking idiot. Okay, I'm gonna- I just realized- I'm gonna- oh wait. You know what? <laughs> I should just leave. They took so much damage. Uh, where am I? Oh, I'm out of the sub range. 5.56 five, could help me out a lot here. The one extremely good use for ramming, um, if you're under Lusty's defense, um, you can ram people for incredible amounts of damage for free. Oops. Fingers on wrong buttons. There we go. But yeah, Lusty, um, I don't think Eldridge's um, evasion thing works for ramming, but Lusty's buff um, protects you from ramming damage. And because Lusty has so much HP, you can you can do a lot of damage. Okay, we. <laughs> I I probably should have brought at least one really good ship for each set of characters. Probably put one of the kitty ships in the b main fleet, and then one really good frontliner, and that should probably do all right. This is hard mode I'm trying to grind through with like random trash on auto, so perhaps not the smartest idea. I didn't realize it would be this much harder than the last one. The last one was like piss easy still. This one is like at least pay attention. We're gonna have to quit and redo this one, unfortunately. Uh-oh. Oh no. <laughs> well, shit. There's my entire back row. Okay, yeah, we... We're definitely a little bit under-equipped for this. Do you like my ship name, or my fleet names, by the way? Oh, hey, St. Louis might be back. Nope. Just Kagi and all of the... <laughs> their, their faces are different. Like, they, they get different artists for a bunch of different stuff. Or a bunch of the different characters. They do a pretty good job of keeping it fairly consistent, though. I think this is the most lurkers I've had in a stream that do not <laughs> chat, by the way. What's up, everybody? Don't be shy. I won't break into your house and kill you. It's a really long drive, and I don't like driving that far. Speaking of driving though, one of the nice things about the new office is that I get to drive over a nice highway instead of crappy bridge. Get to take my car up to a nice legal in within the speed limit speed. And uh yeah. Wait what? 
Oh, I gotta cancel out of the thing. Oh right, one of my fleets is still okay. Okay, let's try... I uh, should help a lot. Shao Hao will work well for the JPN backline. Shao Hao is great, but I'm trying, I'm more trying for the battleship experience. Um, and Shao Hao doesn't count for that. By the way, am, is this, are they puns or is this just how Japanese works? But I noticed a lot of the Japanese ship names seem like they're puns or like just rearranged syllables of other ships like there's Shao Hao and um, Hao Shao and uh, that's all I can think of at the moment but you, you know what I mean there's a bunch of ships like that trust me um, Kaga uh, and Ekagi kind of Hao Shao and Shao Hao, Shao Hao. Uh, Kako and, uh, where's the other one of that? Oh, no. I don't know. It just seemed like that. Uh, there's all the Kazis and Uzukis. Harakaze, Tanakaze, Aisokaze, Matsuki, Matsukaze. No Kamikaze is great wind. That's not exactly what most people remember it for, but that's what it means. Kaze means wind. How many freaking winds do they have in Japan? I've heard of like the four winds, but like it's more than four. Huh. Yeah, Kamikaze is divine wind. I don't know what any of these other winds are. I hate all of these Zuki ones. All of these stupid preschooler ones. Get them out of my goddamn fleet. I hate them. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, so... I think I, uh, I already got equipped. Come on, there we go. Kamikaze is literally Godwind, yeah. <laughs> Replace you with Amagi, which <laughs> seems unfair. Wait, no, but I want this one. I think I'll bring Shao Hao just for the defense, or for the healing. Let me make sure I got those two equipped, though. Uh, vampire, I'm probably gonna want to swap. Somebody a bit stronger. I thought for sure Suffolk would help. Who do I want to level up? Fortune is... Fortune's supposed to be pretty good, right? Let's try Fortune. That one has to be battleship slash cruiser. Let me slip in Shao Hao into here then. Uh, Shao Hao. Shao Hao and Unicorn are really good, by the way. If you have, if you take more damage in your Vanguard fleet than your main fleet. Shao Hao and Unicorn help a lot. Oh fuck, I'm sorry. I keep leaving up the BRB, I never remember to take that off. Just let me know if it's still up there. Force is kind of up in the corner over there, but yeah. Uh... Alright. I'll just give this one a Magi. 
they can't really fail with a Magi. <laughs> he is here in person, but not in soul. The Gashapon has taken my soul. Make sure everyone is actually equipped. That would probably be helpful. Alright, Ning and Ping, I already got those two in. Where's Aya? Aya! <laughs> if any remember his mad father. <laughs> so that was a really fun game, by the way. If you like horror games, definitely check out Mad Father. You'll never hear the name Aya ever again <laughs> without remembering Mad Father Dad. Yeah, I've got a full uh, full playthrough stream of that. Oh yeah, she's like half unequipped. She does not have the voice I would expect out of that. She should have a deeper voice. I heard of Nitro Rad. Does not ring a bell. I want Ever Lurker out there to tell me their favorite ship girl ship. That's what you gotta do to be a lurker in my chat. It's review a lot of good RPG. Uh, yeah, I've got a fair few more RPG Maker things. I need to play the Witch's House and stuff. I do have more RPG Maker stuff that I need that I'm gonna check out. Oh yeah, Downus is a very good emo GF. Highly prized. 556 is very good. It's probably my favorite sub. Uh, yeah, you can just take that. I like Fortune's design a lot, but like, why is she so depressing and why is there like a ball and chain on her legs? You can't see it here, but I don't get it. She didn't even, she's, she doesn't have a- does she even have a depressing backstory? I looked her up on Wikipedia and I don't remember it being depressing, like... Some of the ships that like sunk really early or something, they're like that with, but... She just seemed like a run-of-the-mill, ran around and did shit ship. Yeah, which is House I'm sure I'll really like. We'll play that for, uh, Spooktober this year probably. It's been too long. I've been meaning to play that for like three years. So we'll get to it. 2016 was probably the best Spooktober though, I will say. There was, um... There was, Will You Ever Return was one of my favorite, like, what the hell kind of games. Baba Yaga. Uh, we don't need you right now. I like Sirius's art a lot though. Uh, Hoomst. Whomst were we bringing? Ning, Ping, Downas, Aya. Oh yeah, Aya. Where's Aya? Uh, am I blind or... I have a filter on, don't I? I do. <laughs> God damn it. Th there's different filters for different situations and it gets confusing. There's Aya. You're not using four fleets. Uh, I don't mess with my uh, my last two fleets. I'll show you them, but my last oh, I have I've already screwed them up. <laughs> my last two fleets are for hard mo or for like level twelve or stage twelve stuff. Um, I think I used Aya and oh yeah, I was using the cruisers. I was using some Brit cruisers up in here. But no, I usually leave those untouched because I want to use them for grinding. Fortune, Donna's. Do I have Ning and Ping equipped? I do not. Oh my god. No wonder they were so bad. So if you have somebody unequipped, they basically have tier one, like, absolute dog crap tier equipment. 
automatically equipped. I have Massachusetts, she's my current fave. Aw, oh, lucky. I wanted- Massachusetts is the one I want the most from this event. I don't have her yet, though. I'll take that from Ajax. <laughs> I feel weird giving, like, this amazing plus 10 orange equipment to random characters, but... Oh yeah, Sweet Home. How long is Sweet Home, though? I can do if it's not too long. Yeah, Massachusetts is my favorite from this event, though Sarkoof is pretty good. This game really needs more, like, darker skinned girls, though. They're, like, there's so few. <laughs> They're all really well designed, at least, though. Um, Indianapolis is great. Minneapolis is great. Uh, Massachusetts is great. Um... Those are the three that come to mind. There's really not a lot, but like we were talking about in Discord, China is not a very diverse country, and they've kind of got the same problem that Japan has, where like they just do not have a lot of local diversity, and so it just kind of slips creators' minds, and they just don't think. Um, that's not really a like creative focus like it is in the U.S. Say, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I use a lot of auto loaders. That's on Sussex, right? I'm not using her. No, take it from Sussex. Ah, oh, for f I I hate that. Okay. Uh, I'm not using War Spite. I like War Spite a lot. I can't wait for her retrofit. War Spite deserves better, and she gets it. This is a Chinese game. Just lucky we got it all. Kind of, but <laughs> I still want more. Main story is seven and a half hours for Sweet Home. Yeah. I'm not sure I'd do it for a Sweet or a Spooktober thing, but at some point, maybe. It is a really cool game. I think it inspired, um, didn't it inspire um, Resident Evil? HMS Fortune was built in F Class Destroyer and renamed HMCS Such a Swan. Which HMCS? I know HMAS is uh, Australian! Found us some good fucking destroyers! Um, oh, right, Sandy is on Special Ops. I, I hate that so much. Oh, Canada! Does Canada praise the queen? Y'all people and your queens. Canada are total queens. Um, I think I can swipe that. Yes. I never know what AA guns to work to use. AA guns are so weird. It averages your entire fleet's AA guns into like one stat. It's freaking weird as hell. Your main fleet's AA guns do not operate independently. Your a your main fleet's guns act as if they're mounted on your on your vanguard. It's weird as hell. Wait, that's not what I wanted. No, I'll take it from Southampton. I like Ning and Peng a lot. I just really wish I had Yat Sen to really complete them. They get really tanky with Yat Sen. What? What is Kazuna doing? What are you doing? Don't. Th I don't like that face. That's, that face is not okay for children. <sighs> I saw Proto Bulin over there. I never have enough of these goddamn red books. I just thought I would buff these subs because I use them a lot. Extra oxygen is so OP though. I wish every sub had that as a skill. 556 has an almost similar skill, but it's for when she's above ground. Or water. Same thing. Um, also, I use 556 all the time. I have never seen her special barrage. It is so bullshit that, that it's 
she's still my favorite sub and one of the best subs just because of the range but this uh light of an oath thing i'm trying to talk here buddy one of your fleet has to fall below 25 percent that's that's a lot of words um one of your ships has to fall below 20 percent for her to fire an extra barrage and like that almost never happens. That's, that's really frustrating. I wish you could use the... If you could use subs in PvP, that would be boss as hell. But you, like, never get to use it. I like her party dress a lot, by the way. I'm confused as to... Is this, is this supposed to be underwater? Because if so, that is, like, amazing hydrophobic material going on. An amazing hydrophobic cat going on. Though I think all cats are hydrophobic. Also her hair is amazing with the with the purple on the inside. I like that a lot. I love hair with like gradients and stuff like Nep Gears. If you sub entirely summon mode instead of patrol mode they can take damage. Oh no I know that but like for somebody to be under 20% health like that's pretty rare, and that usually means you're doing really bad. That, that's only really a thing in um, if you're doing... Oh wait, I need to unequip little Sandy. Hold on. That usually means you're doing like really bad, and it just doesn't happen a lot in practice. Yeah, I equipped the... I, I equipped the kids because they were... Um, I needed their experience for who's a Mawats, it's St. Louis. Yeah, yeah. Let's take all these. By the way, little Cleveland weirds me out because like, she's like six. Six-year-olds do not have things that little Cleveland has. That's that's weird. You guys are weird. Uh, where's little Sandy? They need to give Gridley a freaking retrofit. I like Gridley. Gridley. Gridley is unabashedly horny for Saratoga, and I appreciate that. But she's not great. She got bigger tits than normal Cleveland's. She she kind of really does, doesn't she? That's poor regular Cleveland. Um, I'm not sure if that's the real right or not, little Sandy. I like her quote about boats or planes though. Yeah. I thought that was kind of cute, because the um, what is she Atlantic class? But her class of ships is basically custom made to blast the fucking blast fucking planes out of the air. So she's got a little quote about the sky not belonging to planes. Okay, I can send them off now. It's so dumb in these games that like you send your characters off for like half of the game time and like it doesn't let you get their equipment or like use them and stuff. Only really airstrike heavy maps you could have and still hard to get a battleship to low HP. Um, I mean, your Vanguard can get to low HP. Any character with 20 HP or less can trigger 5.56's skills, so... It doesn't have to be the battleships, but, uh, it's just... <laughs> if it happens, you're probably either on the very last fight of the map or in really bad shape. And it's a really... Well, I mean, I don't know how good it is. I've never seen it, which sucks, but I really doubt it's kind of a change the, um, change the tide of battle kind of situation. Why is she so sad? Why? Game, please explain. Perse persecute Jared Fogel just because of his beliefs? Please explain. Ship girls get mad at me. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. Who is this, by the way? She's obviously American. She's got a fucking eagle there. Which... <laughs> I appreciate the sheer lack of subtlety with some of the characters, but who is that? Who this man? Why he everywhere? <laughs> Fortune sounds like she's gonna have a fucking panic attack too. Breaks my heart. I, I hate when characters are so like depressing like that. This. See, she's doing like the absolute best in the whole squad, and she's still complaining. The shadow didn't even fire a shot. Poor thing. I even have like fast launching planes on her, but that's just kind of how the main fleet is. If you're really overpowered. Which look at, just by the way, no, notice the huge difference. I moved like two ships around and put on gear. And now I've gone from taking like 25% damage each fleet to, you know, 1%. Gear makes a really big difference. As does like having one really good character. Especially Vanguard because your main fleet usually takes a long time to fire. <laughs> this fleet is really hard to listen to. There's a lot of panic squeakiness going on. We still have the freaking porn bots, man. It's been like, it's been nearly a week since we had a uh, porn bot in the Discord. Huh. This. She's so whimpery. I, I would, I really like her design if she would not have like crippling lack of self-confidence as her main, like, personality trait. That's my main personality trait. You can't have it. It's not even a good one. Also, I thought for the longest time that this chick was a wasp. She's a Nautilus, and I feel dumb for thinking she was a wasp. But it really does kind of look like one. These bots are so pathetic though, I can't believe... I can't believe their posts. Okay, we still take damage, but... I think we should be alright for auto still. I'll have to switch fleets, but that's not a big deal. I'm so sad for Xiaohao that she didn't get, like, adulty with her retrofit. It's like, that's all she talked about, and then she looks mostly the same in her retro. They give us the freaking like, super lowly ships. Give us, like, aged up versions. Xiaohao deserves it. She's trying her best. Downa's just has too much goth GF energy. She looks taller. Kind of? I'm mostly in the face, honestly. My, my main fleet has taken like zero damage. Why is Fortune taking so much damage? That's weird, because she's a destroyer. Usually they dodge like crazy. <laughs> I love 556's animations in the Party Night outfit, by the way. Like, a little bird brings her food, and she looks so happy when she eats it. Just like me when I eat food brought to me by a little bird. Shut up, fireworks! It's over a week to the fourth, you fucking idiot. 
This is my life for the next three or four weeks, honestly. People just light off fireworks. Small amounts of fireworks at random times of the night for like two weeks before the fourth and two weeks after it. Stupid as hell. Of course it bothers Parker. Biden wants biometric smart guns. That's definitely something that Biden would want. Biden is literally every joke about an enlightened centrist. Like, he's... he's just that whole meme given form. You have 730? I thought I was finally catching up on you. I had 300 before the start of this ship, or this event. Oh, hey! The Mars! She's got a little sword! It's got her fucking name on it! Le Adrat! <laughs> it really. It weirds me out when there's like. Fancy boy characters using like. Like, non-American characters is he's not there, pleasure making y'all kind of voice. I mean, obviously other countries have their equivalent of the South and stuff, but... We spent over 8k oil today, I don't even think about sparkling summer tab at the event. Yeah, that's pretty much what the Sandy thing, little Sandy one was. You just... You have to wait for the day things. <laughs> tomato adventure? What was tomato adventure? I forgot. There was that thing by oil? Oh, wow. I thought it was based on the, um, these points. I guess it makes sense that it's something different. Are you Mars? Yeah, that's Lamar's, I guess. They need more good brown girls that aren't just tanned. Take what I can get, I guess, but... The Mars Retro has the same pose as War Sprite Retro? Oh, cool. Yeah, War Sprite Retro is really cool. I wish she had a deeper voice. I imagined her as having, like, a way deeper voice than she actually has, but... She looks really different. She looks like the... She looks like one of those Compile Heart games. Which one? Fuck. <laughs> compile hard games that aren't called Neptunia aren't very good, so I don't ever remember what they are. But one of them has an art style very much like this. I don't know if it's the same art style or, or artist or not, but... One of Alpha Dream's early games? Huh. Where's me out that the Kansai dialogue is connected to the American economy? Huh. Is that the thing that Oshio sa says? Let me show you Oshio. She talks kind of like this, if you know what I mean. Or at least the equivalent of that. Uh, Oshio is Japanese rare DD, I think. Yeah. She's got hair as big as the fucking sun. Look at that! That's like 30 pounds of hair. Just on the sides alone. Uh, talk. What? No. Where's your words? Words say. Say the words. Ashino. Who is that? Commander, if you're bored. Commander, if you're bored, why don't you call some folks over? We can have us a tea party, you know. What a what I want to make for dessert. You want some too, Commander? Aw, oh, heck. You're putting me in tight spot. But yeah, this is some... There's some dialect in Japanese that's kind of... Country. That sometimes gets, uh... Translated like that. 
Kansei dialect uses Southern American. Is this the Kansei dialect that she's got? I can't really tell the difference between just quote unquote regular Japanese, but oh, I speak Japanese. Definitely don't sound quite different to Southern American boy, but taint speak the language. I like Wakaba though. She's a fucking squirrel. Well, more of a chipmunk, actually. I think she calls herself a squirrel, though. She's here to bust nuts. <laughs> she wanna fuck my dick. She's the only character in the game that I've found that their special touch area is not their chest, it's her tail. It's not like touchy tail. Passapara! Passapara? I don't know. Float plane. He's my BFF. That's the Kansei dialect. Huh. Oh hey, you come with two star thingers. Oops! That's not what I meant to do, actually. You can have... Actually, you can have that. That's a little bit better. What is this? I've never seen this. Submarine mounted twin. Oh! Neat! Xiao Hao has lunch. Yeah, Xiao Hao! Xiao Hao clearly is going for a little bit of that kind of thing. But just a little bit. Eh? I guess she has a different kind of gun. She's got only this kind of gun. Huh. I was wondering, I thought maybe she had like, cru like some light cruiser guns, but she's got a unique kind of thing. Kind of like the um, aviation battleships have their own kind of thingers. Wait, this is out of sub range? Oh, for Pete's sake, I thought it was in. Oh, whatever. Did World War II subs actually have that wooden deck on the top, by the way? I don't doubt it, but I don't think I've ever seen pictures of a sub like that. <laughs> so much screaming! <laughs> When's the English um, anniversary, by the way? Are we supposed to get like albacore and stuff for that one? I don't know if we missed it or not. Which sub? Um, most of the subs in this game seem to have like a wood deck on top. Especially the Japanese ones, but Sarkoof has it too. You can kind of tell that Shao has a bit of an accent going on. I like Shao. I liked a lot of the Halloween costumes. I mean, yeah, I can tell she's kind of got an accent going on. Um, I just like Halloween in general, but I didn't get any of the Halloween costumes, and I'm kind of sad. Especially freaking terrors, let me show you. Terror Halloween Terrors is awesome.
Frickin' hashtag buff terror already. Come on, game. If you can buff the common ships that no one uses, you can buff terror in Erebus. Huh? What? <laughs> I don't remember ever getting a commission right in the middle of trying to prepare for a fight. I like how reluctant. Watch Ping. I think that one's Ping. Yeah, Ping has boobs. Ning does not. <laughs> I love, I love the reluctant nod there. Who this man? Why is she everywhere? I think that's Prince of Wales, just with like three or four cup sizes added. She's like a C or a D in regular design. There's Dunkirk. I like Dace. She just kind of fucking screams about torpedoes all of the time. She's so American. I want the other American subs just because she's so energetic compared to the other subs. Are there even other American subs? Are there British subs at all? Most of them are freaking German and Japanese. We really like the boss music in this game now. <laughs> Look at Dace. Yeah, the Germans use subs like motherfuckers. They had literally hundreds of the damn things. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Amagi. <laughs> Kongo! Kongo did, like, a little, like, slap of damage. Amagi is, like, 30 levels above everyone else, though. Aya could have outdamaged her if I controlled her manually. Aya does crazy torpedo damage, but the AI is shit at using torpedoes. I should give her magnetic ones. Hang on. Shikikon? So, what were two subs bear in mind? First working iterations of Sun on them. Yeah, but still, like, having a deck on a sub still feels weird. Okay, these aren't magnetic. I can't take from Eldridge, can't take from those three. There are some purple level magnetic ones, and by magnetic I actually mean acoustic. So, <laughs> the game conflates, kind of conflates the two. Um, the quote-unquote heat-seeking that this game shows, um, that's actually called acoustic guidance. Um, those are acoustically guided torpedoes. Magnetic torpedoes are a thing, but magnetic is not the guiding mechanism. Magnetism is the triggering mechanism. It kind of detects it's close enough and kind of explodes before impact. Um, because if you explode a torpedo near rather than like on a ship's hull, you can actually deal more damage. So, magnetic torpedoes, that was what they were for. Um, not a... Isn't there a quintuple? Uh, quadruple will do. Ding, ding. I'll take it from Leipzig. I'm not using you. Leipzig's really cute, by the way. I never really noticed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can do one more pull now, finally. After all of this grinding. It feels like I'm all the way back at the Neptunia event, where I'm like limited by the amount of, um... It's gonna be a common battleship, isn't it? Huh? Oh, I'm full of stuff again. Um... I can buff... Wait, let's buff Ning and Ping. Mag triggering torpedoes are very finicky. Yeah, fun fact, um, the American military didn't really properly test their uh, magnetic triggering torpedoes. Um, they didn't, this was right after the Great Depression, keep in mind, so America did not like spending money on 
anything. <laughs> so we didn't fully test our magnetic torpedoes as well as a lot of other stuff. Um, and they caused us a lot of grief through the early war. It's, it's really weird to think of Americans as underfunding military weapons, but it did happen a long, long time ago. Yeah, that'll do. Beyond Jean. I said just thank you, huh? Every time I hear French, I just think of Bunny from Bunny Must Die going, Très bien! Google's VP for Stadia believes internet service providers will adapt to support video game streaming. <laughs> that's, that's adorable. That's adorable. Of course they will, buddy. Isn't Google supposed to be adapting? I don't, I don't like, she's got the same voice as Rom, but that creeps me out. Um, eh, you're pretty close to max. Hey, does, does Akashi's reload matter? Or is, what do her stats do? Because I don't understand, because I don't think firepower matters for AA guns, does it? And she doesn't have regular guns. And I don't think reload matters for her heal, does it? I don't, I don't understand. But yeah, what happened to Google Fiber, Google? That was the thing you were supposed to do. Bring Google Fiber first. Like, I would pay fucking Stadia's fees. I completely do not like any single thing about Stadia, but I would pay Stadia's fees if it meant we got Google Fiber here. But Google Fiber is not here. Like, what the hell? Uh, what skills you got? She's cute, so I'm, like, obligated to use her, but... Vanguard consists of only Iris Libre. Oh, come on! 50% chance. <sighs> that seems not good. I guess I don't know what it maxes out to, but that does not seem very relevant. So many Nevada class? Uh, that's probably just what this game drops. That's probably just what this event drops. Fordman. What do you got? I hate the nationalist ship skills. Every 20. Oh, god damn it, it's the same skill! Okay, it takes less damage. Okay, it's the same skill, but for defense instead of attack. Yeah, Lamars and Forben already have their things. They both weren't able to move, but she made more of a situation than me. Oh, were these the destroyers that got blown up in the dock? <laughs> Lots of French, but buff both French factions. Ugh. That's what I really like about the American ships. The American ships just fucking do their own shit. They don't. They don't give a shit, which is very American of them. The the Americans. I don't. I don't know if there is a single American ship that requires buffing, like, certain, like, classes or, like, nationalities of ships. I'm not sure that's a thing. Need to keep those King Gooses and a Boba. You can have that. You're a battleship? You don't look like a battleship, but okay. USN, KSN. KMS is kind of a mix. They have, they definitely, they have some buffing stuff like Bismarck, Graf. I, I guess just those two. That and the um, submarinos. Hey, Lollamundo. Um, I'm never gonna use you, Glorious. I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't need to be buffed. Uh, what else do I got? I buff King. Where's King Goose? Uh, I think I have enough to uh, max her out. Oh, <laughs> she's on a thing. Hmm. 
Night Demon Raptor. Oh, I forgot I had even done one of these. Oh, <laughs> of course! Oh, no, no, that's why I have so many Nevada class, actually. Soma Sam, that's, uh, this event keeps giving me those instead of the event ships. I, I, when, once I saw the four hours, I knew it was gonna be one of the common BBs. I just knew it. That's always what that means. Also, Nevada's retrofit looks like whitewashed, or I guess maybe she just had a tan, but like... Either way, I don't really approve. Like, let me show you. I guess maybe it's the lighting. But, I don't know. Like, they, they tried to make it like... They gave them, like, Native American dress, which totally makes sense for, you know, being Nevada and Oklahoma, but... Then they make them white girls, which is kind of like, oh. You almost tried. Whatever. At least it's Minneapolis, and... Mostly just her. Yeah, the battleships, the common battleships are really good for adding uh, firepower. That's. Firepower is usually the stat that I max out first. I'm bored, Commander. You have no choice. I don't know why it even gives you the choice wheel. <laughs> what is this music? I never, I never hear the music of the game. I've never heard this piece before. This is so off-brand for the rest of the game. And I'm done with my drink now, so you, you won't have to hear clinking ice anymore. I'm sorry about that. These stories are always super stupid. So, Commander, you appointed me as your secretary because you were so enamored with my gorgeous body, weren't you? Yes. That actually is why. Also, you for some reason are wearing, like, super... <laughs> transparent when wet. I don't even know what a word for that is. Fraunch to the max, yes. <laughs> this seems like ill-fitting attire for a submarine. Basapara! I don't know how to pronounce that. Fraunch! Yeah, she's pretty moist. It's a new seasonal model. <laughs> you get your month's salary, you should order it for me. How expensive is this swimsuit exactly? How little do I make exactly? Oh, hey, fun fact. The, the way submarines can move underwater, um, they have electric engines as well as diesel engines. They use diesel engines to move much faster on the surface and electric engines uh, underwater, at least old submarines. Now there's just nuclear submarines that work the same way either way. But um, they would use old-fashioned shitty electric engines because, you know, you gotta use oxygen to combust the diesel fuel, so it doesn't work so well underwater. So submarines would travel a lot faster on the surface compared to underwater. They'd be quieter too. Um, I'm not sure if... I'm not sure how much quietness matters for sonar though. Because that's just kind of, you know, making a loud bing and then seeing what pings back. Sonar is fucking terrible for uh, marine life, by the way. It's really not cool to use outside of necessary military situations. It's basically an incredibly loud scream that everything in the water can hear.
Normally don't ping. Um, no, that's usually, um, I mean the, um, anti-submarine sonar pings. Because if you're a sub, if you ping, pinging sonar would, um, that would pong on everyone else's sonar, right? They would be able to hear that, so you don't really want to do that. Whereas if you're on the surface, you just kind of assume that every sub can already see you and is going to shove torpedoes directly up your asshole. <laughs> Subs were fucking scary as hell when they came out. That was like, oh my god. They were kind of the new torpedo boats, basically. It's kind of funny how small, relatively cheap things have very frequently been one of the scariest things in naval warfare. Because when torpedo boats came out, they were just these small, cheap, bullshit boats that would like be able to move really fast and you could get in and like bombard a fucking battleship with torpedoes and just... If it didn't have like an escort, <laughs> just completely obliterate them just because you could move so much faster. And torpedoes did so much damage and um, were pretty small. So, when they first came out, torpedoes, uh, torpedo boats were really, really dangerous. And that's what, uh, destroyers are named after, by the way. The full name is Torpedo Boat Destroyer. And, funny enough, they actually work... Wait for the anime to stop screaming. Um, tor <laughs> uh, destroyers are basically the new torpedo boats. Because they just function, for the most part, the way, uh, torpedo boats did. Talking about whole point fires on ships. Oh yeah, being set on fire is not very fun. Who's doing that defense debuff? That's one of the fun things about using new ships. You get to see new skills and stuff. Hi, Parker. Yes, Parker. Yeah, fires aren't quite as easy as they are in, uh... Subnautica sub, where you just press the <laughs> press the no more fires button. It's a pretty good button, though. BB to bombard and kill large ships. Cruising for war courses and planes, watercrafts, destroy the screening fleet. Yeah, pretty much. Cruisers are kind of named for their ability to cruise more or less on their own. Though... Not entirely. Anything valuable, you want some destroyers to kind of, uh, escort around. Speaking of, Eldridge is not actually a destroyer. Eldridge is a frigate, aka a destroyer escort, um, which is a larger, slower, and more heavily armored destroyer. Which, technically, Eldridge should have thicker armor and more HP than she does, but her skill kind of makes up for it. They gave her the slower speed, but they didn't give her the higher health, but Operation Rainbow is already OP, so they don't really need to do that. The frickin' Akagi and Kaga kind of negate it, it's kind of bullshit. If their skills are fully maxed, Akagi and Kaga launch their airstrike before uh, Operation Rainbow can take effect, so... Pretty bullshit. <laughs> I like this interpretation of France, of just being a bunch of, like, churches on tiny little islands. <laughs> I guess it's like an extreme abstraction of Venice. <laughs> it's just kind of funny. I guess they like little islands because it like... They don't want to have like full continents on the map because like... You're supposed to be at sea. Oh no, Venice is Italian, isn't it? Why is it under- why is it in the middle of water then? French, Italy, same thing. Who is that in the middle? I'm trying to think. I know there's Enterprise in the background.
Discord's been quiet lately. There's been some stuff. Google Stadia. Is anyone actually genuinely really excited for Google Stadia? Blue one, I think this is a really popular USN ship. Who? Soup's quiet tonight. Yeah. Here's a go in the world of tech. Like, I get the theoretical appeal of Netflix of games. Though, personally, even if there was truly a Netflix for games, that would be like a supplemental thing for me. I like to own my games. I like to have physical copies whenever possible. In fact, I need to pick up a physical copy of Bunny Must Die. If anybody if anybody is in Japan or like can easily get, you know, shipped to from Amazon Japan. Amazon Japan sometimes ships to the US, but not for this. Um, I'm trying to get a copy of um, the Bunny Must Die physical copy. Only Amazon Japan has it, and I really don't want to use a shipping service. In fact, stupid as it is, I've used, I've just had people I know, it, well, from, know from forums, um, send me stuff and paid them instead of using shipping services. I just don't like them and I don't trust them. I need to get a towel thing. Hey, why are you sitting on that? I see. Yes? He's got a... Making messes on YouTube made Parker a, um, made him a little cat bed and a blanket. And I had the blanket all laid out nicely on the floor, and he never, he hasn't slept on it in a while. And I accidentally kicked it, and so now it's like all crumpled up, and now he's sitting up on the crumpled up thing to be like, Human, you've ruined my bed, how dare you. I still love it despite how much you've destroyed it. He's like trying to guilt me. Yeah, I'm gonna be right back here. Get some ice in my drink. Oh, yeah, I got a Parker. I got a picture of Parker earlier today. Let me show y'all. My voice is starting to get a little scratchy, but it's Friday. I'll live. Uh, no, don't give me JPEG Large. What is with Twitter and freaking JPEG Large? Give it like a different name, not like a. This is Parker investigating the uh, groceries today. Just shove your whole head right in there. Just inspect. It's an empty bag at this point, by the way. <laughs> he just loves to put his head, anything cardboard he loves. He's a very fluffy boy. 
I recorded a little video of- I recorded a video of me grooming him and he managed to turn off the phone. While I was holding it, he turned off the recording. So I have to edit it back into one piece. <laughs> I just ate chips and no fewer than three cats came to eat chips. Parker likes anything that crinkles. He doesn't like chips specifically, but if they're in a bag that crinkles, he demands the crinkles. His food bag crinkles, so he just assumes that anything that crinkles is for him and exclusively for him. Ow. That, <laughs> that hurt a lot. That actually hurt a lot. Okay. I'm just gonna do this one manual. I like Suffolk a lot. She's just tricking spaces out. And she's just very relatable. Eh? Do the thing, game! What the- what fuck? What fuck? Oh no, my thing! Guys, my- the button that I have bound to the airstrike doesn't quite fit the, the airstrike for some reason. I must have put it at the very edge and because I changed the size of the screen. I don't know. Stupid. <laughs> I had really hoped that like... I think some of the characters with like serious like, soul-crushing inferiority complexes get more confident when they retrofit. I was really hoping Fortune would be one of them. Fortune was not one of them. <laughs> oh. It looks like freaking Chrono Trigger over here with all of these little flags and little Lit things. Oh, tier one tech box, thanks. Why do those even exist? They're so garbo. Even tech even tier three tech boxes are garbage. If I could sell a hundred uh tier three tech boxes into one orange, it would probably still manage to be worth it. Uh you be the flagship. Auto submarine, sure. That'll be fine. I like the low oil cost of the submarines, though, at least. Because you get still get full experience as a submarine, but your maximum oil is like six. Maybe it's like seven for the super rares, but... It's so nice. Dace is the one screaming. I want, I want more American subs just because <laughs> she's so much more energetic than the other ones. I don't think we have any other American subs other than that one, the really creepy one, uh, who's of was it's Albacore. Should be excited for Massachusetts. Oh, yes! Um... She's hot as hell, I don't know anything else about her, but... <laughs> I know that I want her, so... Dace. I already have Dace, though. Her oxygen skill is really nice, though. Yeah, Massachusetts looks great. It's good to hear that her skill sounds great, but I don't know what it is. I was hoping to get her. I got... Jean de Pirate Lady instead. Did you just say Mr. Kitty? I heard Neko san <laughs> That's what uh, 556 calls the cat in her, uh, if you said her to secretary. She calls him Mr. Kitty. I love that. She's like an adorable, non bigoted Cartman. Weird coming from the KMS ship. I 
Aris Ikir. Is that French money? <laughs> Maki does so much more damage than anyone else right now. I had actually forgotten she has a special barrage thing. Um, I usually just use her because she <laughs> she's got... Honestly, she's kind of ridiculously OP. So let's look at Amagi real quick. Um, not you. Uh, here we go. So, she's got torpedoes because she's a battle cruiser. Um, so she just kind of fires extra torpedo volleys. Um, she's got a 70% chance every, every barrage to fire an extra barrage. Um, she has this stupid extra thing if you have four or more secure Empire ships. I don't care about that. It's not really a big deal, but it's a nice bonus, I guess. Um, she decreases burn damage her main fleet takes by 50% and decreases their invasion by 10%. So, nice buff to your defense of your main fleet. And she decreases the firepower, torpedo, and evasion... <laughs> Or no, of uh, aviation of all enemy ships by nine percent. So like, basically decreases all incoming damages by nine percent. So really good. I w I wish more main fleets were like her because most of them have like one or two skills. Anyway, for each Eagle Union C A and or B B, so in the ship your fleet increases the ship's. 1% who stacked up three times. Huh. Not bad. Yeah, I was just saying, like, the the um, the Americans don't have many ships that depend on other Eagle Union ships, really. They're very independent, which makes sense for American ships. I do hear that South Dakota, who I like a lot, um, she... If you have Washington, I guess it buffs her, or she buffs Washington, or something like that, and they make a really good combo. Damage of the shells increase based on their distance traveled up to a maximum of 50%. Huh. South Sudakota. You, you tried. Washington and SD both buff each other. References how SD changes and change in Washington over the battles. Huh? Should have said because of the skills. I really want Washington. I like South Dakota a lot, and I would love to use her. Um, I'm not really sure she's super great to use just alone, though. Such drama. For some reason, these fields and the fact that it's French just really reminds me of um, Age of Empires 2. Fantastic game, and there was a whole Jean d'Arc campaign kind of thing. Sid. It's been a long time since I played that. Ugh, maybe I could stream it someday. Who is that? Who this man? Why he everywhere? We're gonna find what chapters to farm for ships. Uh, yeah, I use the wiki. Um... I forget what the name of it is, but just Google Google ship name plus Azure Lane and you'll find it. AzureLane.cowmacan.jp I'll just toss a link. I was gonna make a guide on my site. Stop. Whoa, really? You? She does really good damage, actually. Um, for some of these things. Look at that smile. Um, 
I was gonna make a guide for um, drop only ships because I couldn't find one on the wiki, but they're kind of there's an almost good enough one on the wiki. It's a lot more it's it's very professional and it would take a lot more work for me to make one look like that. No three four. Yeah, 3-4 drops the uh, foxes, I believe. Magi, or Akagi and Kaga. So that's one a good one to grind for ships. Um, pretty much just grind for whatever ship you're missing is usually what I do. I'm all the way up to... There's somebody I need in like 7-2? 7-3? But I've been grinding 8-1 and 8-2, hoping to get the Japanese destroyers that I'll never use, <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> she sounds so terrified all the time, it hurts. It hurts my heart. Yeah, I heard about the gerrymandering case, that's total bullshit. But what do you expect out of this court? I was honestly impressed with the census decision, at least. So, that's a little good news. Do you feel- what ships drop the um, aimed, quote-unquote, torpedoes? Do you feel like the aimed ship torpedoes or plane torpedoes do more damage or less? Because I feel like the ones that shoot towards the ship I feel like they miss more often because ships move and they're kind of slow so I feel like the ones that just shoot straight forward are more likely to hit. Yeah, I don't understand how they could feel. The, the stupid, they, they said it was like, oh we need to, the, the constitution says you're supposed to gerrymander things and you know, it's not we the people, it's we, some of the people, as determined by the current legislature. N not n We don't do democracy here in the United States. Stupid as hell. Sakura torpedoes are the aimed ones? Oh. Huh. But yeah, do, do, do the aimed ones do more damage on average? Because I feel like the straight ones are more effective, really. Just because at least one row of them almost always hits. Whereas the aimed ones just kind of fuck about. Depends on the boss. Sakura can be a lot better than the boss is a stationary one. Like, none of the bosses are stationary, though. At least not any of the late ones. There's <laughs> just so much anime happening at the beginning of every battle. <laughs> I love the subs on some- the, the the ones where the boss spawns right away, the subs just completely obliterate in seconds. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no one else even had any chance to deal damage. 556 five, does crazy damage. She's not. I guess I did give her better torpedoes than the other ones. But yeah, the ones where the um the sirens on the map, they spawn immediately, so your subs can deal just ridiculous damage instantly. Yeah, I hate strict, quote-unquote, strict constitutionalists that completely ignore any kind of intent or, like, meaning in the Constitution. Nope, thing, things are just the same the way they are now as they were, you know, 250 years ago. It's exactly the same. No differences at all. It's all the same shit. Unfortunately, I'm not in a state affected by gerrymandering. I am in a state affected by fucking dumbasses, but... I'm not in the dumbass part of states, for better or worse. I can't vote against... a particularly shitty... senator. But, uh... I kind of 
don't like that the um, the battleships they don't have a quote if they don't have a skill with their shot. It feels like they should talk, but then they don't. I like Yamashiro. Can you impeach a senator? Um, there are removal processes, but they're basically impossible. Speaking of, Bitch McTurtle could be removed at any time, but it would require um, Senate Republicans to give a damn, basically. Or just like two or three of them to caucus with the Democrats, but obviously they don't care about democracy or anything, so it's not going to happen. Uh, <laughs> it's, it hasn't been very fun to see, to watch basically every possible flaw in the American system be exploited to hell and back within a rather short period of time, I'll note. The good news is young people, though. Boomers can only live so long. <laughs> Speaking of, there's this, um... There, there's apparently a Facebook account, or a Facebook group, where you have to pretend to be a boomer. It's like a boomer roleplay group. And, um, let me show you this. Dinner with Tom. If you saw, if you follow my Twitter, you've seen these, but it's pretty good. Ugh, I hate that I have to change the file name every time I save these. These are really good. <laughs> In this group, we all talk like boomers. Can you take another photograph? I can't see him. I am not good with the photos. Tom is eating his steak now. Anna Michelle Hollis, angry face. <laughs> I love the, the use, the use of shitty like stickers and such, are great. I love these are so good though. Oops, I saved it. Fucking Twitter, it's dot large JPEG large bullshit. Glad to hear. Hope he's enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, the homophones are amazing. Praying you're doing all right after your knee surgery. No medication. In pain. God will see me through this. Tom says to take painkiller, but I say hell no. Amen. I don't know if you heard, but Tabitha, his son, is this addicted to painkillers. He has dropped out of college. Do not tell her I yelled you this. <laughs> Tom says to take the painkiller, but I say hell no. There's a, there's a whole thread of this on Twitter. I retweeted it. Um, <laughs> I, like, <laughs> I like this one's my favorite. This one's the best. <laughs> I just lost custody of my children. Also, there's lots of minions ones. You gotta. Boomers love minions. <laughs> my ice has joined at the bottom of my glass to become one super ice. Alright. <laughs> That's really good. I like that quote. I miss her gun. I, I like her retrofit a lot better. It's got bigger boobs, so I mean, what what's not to like? But um, she has like a watering can and her regular... Let me show you this. She has a, a watering can because she's a maid and maids water plants, I guess? I don't... I've, I've never heard of... It's more of a gardener thing, really, but let me show you this. 
here we go. She's got a watering can. Meanwhile, in the pre-retrofit, she's got a fucking eight-foot-tall gun. What what happened? Honestly, her pre-retrofit skin is kind of better. I should probably just use it. But I like the face better. I like the dress, but like... Well, actually, I kind of like the shorter dress better. She got the little tail with the anchor. <laughs> but I mean, that gun is kick-ass. For how awesome the country class rigging things are, it's a shame they're crud set wise. Suffolk is okay with the retro, but the rest of them, yeah. I don't think any of the others have retros. What does, um. What does Warspite's retro do, by the way? I like Warspite a lot. Jim doesn't give her cup size boost, but what are you gonna do? Put a Moggy there. Actually, I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> Why is Congo so grumpy? She's she's not like that when you while you're fighting her. This is the best ship in the game, really. I can't wait for the ultra rare um, retrofits to happen because. I have two extra Sandies, and I have two extra, um... For SR to Ultra Rare Retrofit, you need three duplicates instead of one. And I have two Sandies, and I have two War Spites, but... They're just wasting my space until the Retro comes out. Can't wait to use Retro um, War Spite though, she looks great. I mean, look at this. It's great. Oops. Oh, zoom. Zoom, there you go. She's mastered the art of not wearing pants, but somehow at the same time not showing panties. Due to very particular sword placement. It's very important art. Only a moderate has a chance of beating Trump! I love the fucking dumbasses that think that like moderate Republicans are anything other than like fucking straight up traitors that would would vote for tra would vote for Trump vote for traitor, would vote for Trump, would, you know, I swear, my own fucking idiot parents, they would vote for themselves to be executed by a firing squad as long as they got to watch a liberal shot first. That's just, that's just what they are. It fucking sucks, but pretending they're reasonable people isn't gonna fix them. Learn that the hard way. Family is just people, by the way. I hate to say that, but I learned it the shitty way, and I think there's a lot of people that would probably, unfortunately, benefit from that information. If your parents love you, and they're non-monstrous people, I really hope they aren't. That's great. But, uh... The blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb. I like that. I've never heard that one before. But yeah. Blood. It's really not necessarily thicker than water. And what does thicker than water even mean? I mean... Do you want to drink something that's thick? What are we doing? What is the thickness doing for us? I think blood should be inside, so... I don't know. <laughs> she looks so sad! Game, please. Why you do? Why you do? Actual blood or origin of the 
three in the water. Or actual quote means your chosen family is more important than their birth family. Really? I never knew that. That's that's the exact fucking opposite of what I've always heard that um, term to refer to. <laughs> I love watching the subs just come in and obliterate the sirens. Nike stands with us. When, when I first started using subs, I thought they would absolutely never be able to see their win quotes. But since I got the purple tier um, sub torpedoes, I see it sometimes. In really hard matches that take a really long time, your vanguard is, or main fleet is probably still going to do more damage, but... Entirely sure what I'm gonna do all next week. I'll probably stream some more since I'll be around. I have various things I've been meaning to stream, but I haven't really planned to stream any of them next week. I don't know if I'll stream. I feel like I should stream Strong Bad Game on a weekend since that's when all my other ones were. Maybe I'll just stream what I happen to be playing and something like that. Peacebreaker's a spider crab, by the way. Those are cool as hell. Are we ever gonna be able to actually, um... You know, build the sirens and crap? I saw an image of somebody with an all-siren for the, but I have no idea if it was just Photoshop or not. It seems like it would be moderately easy to photoshop and I they don't have stats or anything listed on the uh, wiki so I assume I assume that was fake the wiki has surprisingly little information the wiki doesn't even have like images of each siren which I thought would be like bare minimum stuff for a wiki definitely photoshop yeah, that's what I thought The wiki has everyone's name and which class of ship they are. It does not even have the photos, let alone like lore stuff or stats or anything. <sighs> Oops. Bumped my cable. I can't, I can't tell if this input is going bad or if it's my headphone cable. I need to test it on my phone, but I keep forgetting. Hopefully the construction on my house will be done this year, after all of this freaking time. I've been contractors actually doing work and stuff, and uh... Um... 16 seconds. Not bad. Um... Stuff has been happening, or... Kind of still at a very early stage, but it's been nice. It's been a pretty good year, all in all. I got I got me a 10% raise, which I got one last year too, but it's just all the sweeter this year. Um, got the new office. The new office is really nice. And I have, like, the quietest non-office space in the, uh, in the building, basically. Nobody can, like peek in at me from, like, the office. It's a very private area. The NLG Wiki has a lot of in-game stuff. Chibi animations and face animations for the CGs. Oh, speaking of this, face animation for the CGs, they've been kind of breaking those lately. Um, there's some weird lines on 556s 
And if you if you scroll past um, Z35, I think she is, um, her face ends up transposed on the next character's face. It's terrifying. Let me show you real quick after this, actually. There's another one whose face just disappears, and that's also scary. I hope your family bullshit situation improves at some point, son. I am quite happy to be almost completely done with all of my family. Oh shit, I should check out my... Dang, we've spent like 5,000 oil since I've been here. Oh. Still no commissions. Um, try to show you this bug. I've added the, um, I added their, I don't know if their English Twitter account, like, does any bug fixing, but I mentioned them on Twitter, and I tried to get them to be like, hey, fix 556's thing. It's fairly subtle, but you can see there's, like, let me try to show you this. Uh, sub. You. Hey, Project Alias. Name doesn't ring a bell, but... Uh... I guess it's hard to tell from here, but there's, like, little lines above, like, half inside of her eyes. It's really hard to tell from this one. Uh... It's like reference for where the, like, centering for where the eyes should be. And you can just kind of tell the artist left it in. And they just need to clean that up. It's pretty subtle. It's really obvious when her eyes are closed, but I can't get a sprite with that. Um, well, a much more obvious bug is with the, this one. If it still happens. Uh, I think they fixed it. It used to be when you scrolled to past U36, her face was in place of the other character's face. Uh, who else did it? Somebody new did it, but... Uh, hmm. It's a lot of rings. Yeah, I think you showed up right when I had like extreme media comm problems. So I'm, I'm glad you popped back in because usually my internet is not quite so bad. Sometimes it is, but <laughs> usually I'm able to finish the stream at least. That day was really bad though. I usually don't have to full out abandon a stream. Oh, we got some cognitive chips. I like to think they just straight up eat these, like, potato chips. Because, like, look at the top there. There's, like, a little piece. Like, a little bite taken out. That's my head cannon. You just take, like, a bag of those and, like, hum. Oh. Frickin' whoever this is looks like she'd use a bag of chips. Eat some food. Uh... I think marrying Zeppi is illegal, by the way. Uh, sure. I think the double line formation is like the best, like the safest one to use, it seems like. I use the single line when I like want to finish battles quickly, though. I have two head cannons, I call them nostrils. I want to get U81 just because I can finish my German submarine fleet, and then that wolf pack tactics thing would be like extra good. You know, it's funny. I I hear I hear a lot more accent in Shaohao than Oshio, but Oshio's dialogue. 
seems like it has a lot stronger accent. Or like the, the, the text. It feels like it has a much more implication of that good old slack jawed hee haw going on. Whereas Sha Ho is just like a little bit of it. Seeing lies offensive. Yeah, I know that, but. I feel like the evasion buff. I feel like the evasion buff outweighs the strength buff. Though it's kind of hard to tell how much either one of them. It's especially hard to tell how much the evasion buff helps. I think the the. I think in terms of firepower, like. 100 firepower is like 100% damage, so like. You know, firepower is pretty simple, whereas evasion is pretty. Tried triple two eight three on Deutsch Thunder Spree. I'm not sure what that means. Is that a gear? I don't have Spee, unfortunately. I was, I was not in the mood. I was, I didn't even really play the game around Ryujo and Spee's events, so there was no way in hell I was gonna eat Spee, unfortunately. Hopefully she comes back at some point. I have Deutschland though. Getting Rune is going to be a pain in the butt because I don't really have a lot of good German cruisers. <laughs> Mostly because there aren't a lot of good German cruisers. Um, but I have Spee, or I have Deutschland, I have Leipzig, I have the common ones, of course. I think that's about all I have that's good. I have just enough to fill two teams. It's the pocket BB gun? I don't know, they had a special gun. Did I just lose somebody? I guess I did. Oh frick, I led with I led with Ping, didn't I? I was supposed to lead with uh, Aya. Oh well, it's not a big deal. Yeah, I never <laughs> I pretty much put Deutschland into um, the dorm to get her experience and I haven't really used her. Aside from the subs, I don't use the German chips a lot. Oh, I forgot to put Mutsu! I forgot to put uh, Amagi as the battleship, or the main fleet. Get knocked out! There you go, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> Mutsu sure took damage fast. Two eight threes, huh? If that was part of the event, I probably... Well, if it was part of the Deutschland event, I probably got it. If it was part of the Spee event, I definitely didn't get it. I, like... I was aware that that event existed, and I, like... I don't even think I got the... I think I just barely got the monthly chip girl that month. That's how little I played. Oh, it's from German boxes? I probably have it, and I just have not noticed it. Uh, Deutschland... Oh yeah, I got Hipper. Uh... Triple... Two, eight, three? Oh, this thing! AP... Fire rate... Is it good? Can Hipper have that? I guess not. I had no idea the pocket battleships had a special gun. Splash damage? Hmm. I'll put it on her just so I don't forget.
You work tomorrow? Yes. So, I should probably end the stream pretty soon here, but... Um... I won't max it out quite yet because I'm saving money for the... <laughs> I ran out of money doing pulls. Oh, we did max these out. Alright. Uh, let's see if we can buy anything fun in the exchange real quick. Oh. <laughs> we can't, no. Because I spent all my money on the uh, coins. It acts like a battleship gun. Huh. That's cool. I guess that makes sense with the pocket battleship thing. We can't even get Lamar's. Wait, didn't we get... Didn't we get Lamar's? I guess she's the drop as well. I thought we did. That's the red. DD. Didn't... Did we not? Oh, there she is. I forgot there's two kinds of Frenchies. We now standing might is not enough to be blah blah blah. Alright. I should head to bed here. This has been a fun stream though. Um, not sure I'll stream tomorrow or not. Um, I'm gonna be out of like oil pretty soon. Um, hmm. Maybe. We'll see. Um, I'll probably stream in general next week. I'm not sure what I'll stream. But uh, whatever I feel like in the mood to be. But um, yeah, I'm taking all of next week off, so I'll definitely have some time to stream. Um, this is fun. It's um, it's a good stream game because I can kind of just read chat and let the game play itself on auto. <laughs> um, so it's good for that. Um, I was gonna say something, I forgot it. <laughs> but yeah, um, fun stream with y'all. Thanks for popping in. See you around. And uh, remember to follow for more streams. Tap tap here. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon and any relevant links to the game. <laughs>